that good enough. Here's a really abrupt uh, way to end that little thing. But anyway, hello. It has been a while. Let me pop into not fancy windows. And uh, there we go. Close that. I guess I can throw that over there now. I don't need that. Now that the new XSplit doesn't show any more viewership information. And it used to, but now it doesn't. And I don't know what the problem is. I'd update it, but apparently the update's not very good either, so... I need to take this page and throw it in the bottom. Keep it there. Somewhere. I'm the problem. Oh. I probably am. So, hello. Let me just throw out a tweet. Some Oregon Trail, some game making on Windows 98. Which I've never done. And some real lives. Alrighty. So, hey guys. Let me put the chat. Oh, wait, I forgot to pop the chat out. It's been a while. It's been a while since I've streamed, and suddenly. All of those things you do automatically, or at least I do automatically when I stream, you know, popping out the chat, setting stuff up. I've totally forgotten. I've just been busy in the lab recently, and, um, haven't done a whole lot of streaming on this channel. Alright, that works. Let me just capture that. I am out of practice. Spent, um, 14 hours in the lab the other day doing a cytochrome C oxidation assay. Oh, damn it. I'm a pixel off on that chat. And it just went. It just went. I didn't get out of the lab until 1.30 a.m. So, not every day with all this lab stuff is super conducive to streaming, but I gotta get back into it. So hang on. Oh, there we go. That works. Let me just do this. There. Okay, there's the chat. Uh, I gotta leave this window up, and get out the Oregon Trail window. How's the roommate? Uh, you know, I didn't see him at all today. Maybe, maybe he came into the room while I was sleeping, because I went to take a nap for a couple of hours, and I just literally woke up maybe five minutes ago and thought, you know, I should go and stream. So, now I'm doing that. A little bit groggy though, so give me a moment. Whoops, I don't need to click you. Quit school, it's the only option. Thanks, Ron Paul. Or your campaign manager, specifically. So I found a thing that I mentioned having on uh, past streams on Windows 98, but if you've ever heard of click and play, it was I don't think it still is a uh, piece of software that people used to make games, and most notably, really, really bad fan games about stuff. Especially really, really bad Sonic fan games. And they also made versions and whatnot for educational settings to teach kids how to program and get their interests up in that sort of thing, but I've had a copy installed on that Windows 98 machine for the longest time, and I'm wondering, because I've never used it, what, what could you do with it? And could you potentially make a game on stream in an hour or two? I've got absolutely no idea, so I guess we could find out together. 
Um, change your color in the chat to either dot dot dot. I sent out the tweet, right? I think I did. Memory is shot. It's just science. Just lab work. It's all I can think about. Lab work <laughs> and my parking ticket that I got the other day. Which I, I have ranted about elsewhere. But a friend and I went down to the radio station and I parked in the wrong lot and I got charged with a $75 parking ticket. I'm a registered parking offender. That's me. Watch out, man. I'm gonna park in all the wrong places. Let's see. That's effectively all of my Twitch bucks in that parking ticket. <laughs> oh well. Serves me right for being a criminal. They say I can't park in a lot. Why? I did anyway. Then Officer Peebles came by and hit me with a $75 ticket. There we go. Have to tell my neighbors. I do, yeah. Guys, you're, you're living with a registered parking offender. Um, just required by law to tell you. If at all you see my car, don't worry. I... I'm reformed now, I won't park it where it doesn't belong. Will not park it in your driveway, so just want to clear that out. I'm happy to be your neighbor and I promise we're not gonna have any parking related problems forever as long as I'm here. Would I ever play Roller Coaster Tycoon again with arbitrary goals or something? Well, we don't really need to, because we've got pretty much the entirety of Roller Coaster Tycoon untouched. And that's already got goals, so I don't really need to make up special little goals for myself. We have a brand new game with brand new objectives everywhere. Okay, so, um... Turn the volume up a little bit on this. Okay. And I think I said... I think I already updated the title. I did. Okay, cool. One minute. Just go and grab my phone. In case it starts yelling at me, and it probably will. I've been charged it all day. Tim, no, feed me. I'm dying. The thing about smartphones is that they do everything except last at all with the battery. Oh well, anyway. Oregon Trail. Welcome Let's to get Oregon to it. Trail. You guys know the drill. Change your color in the chat. Red, blue, green, or pink are the colors here. And let me log off of Steam. Exit. There we go. Okay, so. Oops, that's not the button. Hit the gear. Red, blue, green, or pink. You can be on any of those teams. Welcome to the Oregon Trail. Welcome to the Oregon Trail. You're about to begin a great adventure. Traveling the well, Oregon Trail. I don't know if I'd say a great adventure. It's, it's an alright adventure, I guess. Oops, misspelled that. Green and Mary. Wow, that's not pink at all. Even trap pink. Works for me. Good enough. Red, blue, green, and pink. What is what language does Google think this is? I'm curious. Check language. Lithuanian. In English it also means trap pink. Thanks, Google. Now I know been fluent in Lithuanian this whole time and no one's ever told me. Alright. So when do you want to leave? You need to decide when to set off also I realize this is the uh, early. first stream since E3. You may encounter some very cold and did some stuff happen but if you leave over E3. Here, oh you man. August, July, May, April, May, April, May, May, July, April, August, 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 August. Um... You! Dezeric and Madman226 both say August, so I guess we're doing August. Close that. August. And let me get up... Oops, not this. I need another window. The, uh... 
random number generator thing. Let me flush the toilet. That wasn't me, for what it's worth. Okay, between zero and twenty oxen. Well, I guess zero doesn't count. You're not gonna, you're not gonna be able to leave with zero oxen. Oh, my delete key doesn't work. Weird. Okay. One and twenty oxen. We will get five. Oh man, fantastic. Five whopping oxen, which means, I don't know, 20 sets, no, maybe not, 10 sets of clothing. Five isn't so bad, it's kind of lacking, to be honest. One and one and one and 1,000. 750. 750, there we go. Numbers. Okay, all the teams are in good health. Red, blue, green, and intra pink. Which is totally what I meant to type. August 1st, 1848, and off we go. So yeah, E3 happened, and we found some wild fruit. Which is probably my favorite of... Pink. Pink. It's day one. Alright. You, you just... You just started. How did you... What did you even... Oh, jeez, Pink. I'm just gonna pretend that never happened. So yeah, E3 happened. How about that PS4, huh? Did not expect that thing to be uh, 400 bucks. Better yet, I didn't expect the new Xbox to be 5. Almost as much as I didn't expect Pink to break their arm. And we didn't sink, despite the fact we've got over 600 pounds of food. Yes, the new Xbox is $5. Actually, if you go to a specific Amazon link, it's $499.96. can save many tenths of a- How do you guys keep breaking? Now Team Green broke their leg, Pink broke their arm. You're just falling apart left and right. What did you even do? God, who's next? Now we're gonna get to the next river and everyone's gonna drown. Because nobody can paddle. Too many body parts falling off everywhere. Okay. Yeah, you gotta save those three cents. Think of all the things you can do with them. Not sure what exactly, but I'm sure there's something you can do with three cents. I'm trying to think. I didn't really watch that many E3 conferences. I was in the lab when Microsoft's went. I saw Sony's. Um, I think that was it, to be honest. And they didn't release or announce a new Oregon Trail, so... You know, I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. Think of how well you could render these oxen. The strife of the Oregon Trail. Fixing wagon wheels with the Kinect in the next definition of... or the next generation of high-definition graphics. Think of experiencing eight sets of clothing in glorious 1080p with the Oculus Rift. Feel the clothes being taken right off your body as they're stolen. But no, apparently no other game developer thinks this is a decent idea for a concept. Which is a shame. I would kill for a next generation Oregon Trail. Oregon Trail filled with thrilling quick time events. Press B to drink the bad water. Maybe they can turn it into a rhythm minigame or something. And now Team Pink is well again. Finally fixed your broken arm. What did Nintendo even have at E3? I can't remember. They had their special thing, but was that a series of videos or did they have a showing at E3 somewhere? 
No, I mean like actual presence at E3. They didn't have a conference. They had a booth. Okay, got it. Heavy fog. Okay. You know, I haven't even had to hunt at all so far. I guess bringing 750 pounds of food will probably do that. And Team Green as well again. After breaking their leg. For God knows why. Here lies Tim. I'm dead. 20 oxen. Play Oregon Trail on the Wii. How much does that run? I can't feel like... I can't imagine it's that- Oh, God, Green! You just fixed your broken leg, how'd you break your arm? Anyway, if Oregon Trail on the Wii is not too expensive, yeah, why not? I'll buy a copy. Sounds like a plan. You fell off the bandwagon. Damn it, Green! Oh, and now we're all gonna starve soon, too. Twenty bucks, hmm. You know, I think that might be too much to spend. Could probably go on eBay and get a copy for... Probably pennies on the dollar. Also, I can't seem to hunt for crap today. Here's a bunny. There's that thing. Oh, 1996. Well, in that case, it's practically an impulse purchase. Where else am I going to save four cents on a copy of the Oregon Trail for the Wii? There we go. That looks like food to me. 120 pounds? Am I going to get the Wii U eventually? Oh, uh, maybe? I don't know, I'm cheap. There's no grass for the oxen either. You know, I have to think about that before I even buy a Wii U. Or anything. Bad water. Yeah, Pikmin 3 looks pretty good. Hey look, I'll probably end up with one eventually. Not sure when. Whenever it gets cheap. If there were a new Oregon Trail game announced for the Wii U, I would buy it. <laughs> I could probably get a system for that. Everyone's health is poor. Is anyone sick? Oh, Green is. Green still has a broken arm. It won't get cheap this year. I think... I think they're gonna have to have a price cut for the Wii U this year. Oh, come on, guys. How has there been no grass every day? That arm might be cholera. It might. You're right. All the germs are in that one arm. Specifically. No water. Will I ever get the zombie edition of the Oregon Trail? I think I might have a copy, to be honest. Floating around on Steam somewhere. Well, the 3DS Oregon Trail game might only be 10 bucks, but I've got no way to stream that. Got a regular DS capture device, but not a 3DS one, because those are like 300 bucks. Oh god, come on. Spoilage, bad water, now the tumbleweed's making fun of us. And I bet you, there's gotta be no food anywhere. Oh, well, never mind. And this is why the buffalo were endangered. Because of me. I just broke into a petting zoo and just started eating everything. Okay, Green. You... Oh. Okay, Green. Just about to say, now we can rest for you, but... No, I... I guess we can't. 
You're just gonna rest forever. And now we get to the Green River Crossing. Without Team Green. We're gonna have to carry on, guys. We'll make it. Even without Team Green. Don't worry. How is that? Hey guys, there's there's no water on the Green River. It all dried up immediately. Somehow. We didn't really cross it, we just sort of rolled the wagon along the uh, dried up river bottom. No, you can't ford that. That's 40 feet. Unless you're 40 feet tall, you're probably not going to have any luck. There's no water either. There's no water anywhere. Or grass. <laughs> no one's really gotten too sick. Just, there has been no water or grass or anything. In fact, no one's gotten sick at all. Everyone's just broken something. Two broken arms and... No, three broken arms and a broken leg so far this entire run. So Blue busted their arm up on something. I don't know what to do about that. Pay a visit to Soda Springs. Here, here's a Coke. Now you're better. Now Pink is suffering from exhaustion. Good job, Pink. First actual disease this round. Well, I don't even know if you can call exhaustion disease, but... First non, I broke my something this round. Come on, come on, there you go. Bison's a bullet sponge, I think. Let you rest, oh, okay, fine. Here you go. Now you can be happy, Team Pink. Two days to rest, 21 pounds of spoilage. How about two more days to rest? Two more? One more. Now you're... dead. <sighs> okay. Apparently the cure for exhaustion is... Oh, jeez. The cure for exhaustion is not resting. In fact, if you rest, everyone will die on you. You will be flushed. So there goes pink and blue. All we have left is Team Red. I did lose my partner. Lost most of my partners at this rate. It's up to you, Team Red. Everyone else has seen better days. Rough trail. Is it more or less rough than having half of your party die on the same day? See, 71 pounds of food. It's probably hunting time. You just got here, Team Green. Woo! Team Green's dead. Shh, don't tell anyone. What does Rough Trail even do? I think it makes the wagon more likely to explode. I think. I'm really not sure. Uh, you know, let's... Oh, that's right. We can't hire an Indian because we don't have any clothing. Somebody sort of stole all of that early in the game. So I guess we're going to have to float it. Hope it doesn't sink. Probably fine. Everyone else is kind of dead at this point. How heavy could the wagon possibly be? The trail is impassable. Alright. Did we just float it the wrong way then? floated it off a waterfall. Here lies Tim, the trail was too rough. See, that's what happens when you have a rough trail. I don't know what caused that, but... something. My wagon just spontaneously combusted after the Snake River. 
Actually, Dova Kin, we're not butt naked. We've got two sets of clothes, so Red and I are fully clothed the whole time. So maybe it was a good thing that every other team died. Team Red is cholera. Hmm. Well, at least they have a pair of pants. Fort Boise. Another rough trail. Hmm. Don't get cholera again. Come on, Red. You... Oh. Red died of measles. You know... Maybe... Maybe there was just disease in that blizzard. Just bacterial snowfall, and that was that. Now I have dysentery. Hang on. Doesn't sound very good. <laughs> Come on, we're almost at the end. Yeah, yeah, we are at the end. Just a different end than I would have liked. Just got sick and died, you know. My health is good. I was resting. Oops. You know, one of these days we'll make it to the end. Oh well. Guess that's not happening today. Was this a drag race? It really wasn't. I was seriously trying to make this a somewhat decent playthrough, but apparently not. I want to write your epitaph. Here lies Tim. I don't even know what to write. Ah, let's do another round. People broke arms from day one. That should have been an indication I was not going to get very far. We broke the trail. Blizzard measles, no good. Resting is death. Here lies Tim. He had good health. <laughs> broken limbs, broken dreams. Perfect. I like it. Do you want to save? No. N. O. No. Okay, let's try this again. We haven't... We haven't made it to the end in quite some time, and one of these days I really would like to be able to topple the Oregon bot and get first place in the Oregon Trail list of legends again. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but... Would be nice. Sort of... Sort of tired of having the Oregon robots cluttering up the top three spaces. So maybe, maybe today, could be the day on this rugged landscape of North America with our covered wagon and Team Red, Team Blue, oh god, what is... Sure. Team Green, oh Christ, I can't type it <laughs> Team Red, Tremium Blur. Team Gren and T Pink. Now yeah, we're good. What is a backspace button? If I use the backspace button, that would be admitting I made a mistake somewhere, and I don't think I did. So, oh wait, I forgot to pick the month we have to leave. What month would that be? July, says one person. April, says another. July says another one, and another one says April. July, April, July, April, this is the tiebreaker, June. All right, well, I guess it's not going to be either of them. And how many oxen are we picking? Well, the game says, not the game says, but the website says, seven. Powered by random.org. And I wonder, does Wolfram Alpha do this? Random number between 1 and 20. Knowing Wolfram Alpha, it'll probably spit out a list of calories for, like, the number 5. Oh. 
We need 19.4539 oxen. I'm going to go back to random.org. Thanks. Seven. Let me just take most of an oxen. You know, it, it doesn't need an ear. It doesn't need the tail. Um, cut some nails off. Probably be okay. I need to do random integer. Oh, close enough. You know, let me see something. We need this many oxen, right? 19.4539. Okay, so calories in 19.4539 oxen. Does it know? Does it have nutritional information for ox? No, it doesn't. Cows. Maybe. Just calories in the whole cow. No, it doesn't. I could have sworn Wolfram Alpha did stuff like, uh... Oh, there it is. Well, you know, 19.4539 hamburgers is almost the same thing. That's 8,198 calories. And apparently 99% of foods have less fat than that. How many hamburgers are in a cow? And just multiply it by 19.45 cows. Hamburgers in a cow. How many hamburgers can get out of one cow? Finally, someone's asking the serious questions here. Okay, if the cow was 1,320 pounds, and you can use about 8% of the beef, so 20, 24 hamburgers. Okay, so this is apparently the conversion from cow to hamburger. So maybe it doesn't want me to type this out like that. So if you were to turn all of your oxen into hamburgers, assuming that even works, you would have a little shy of 40,000 hamburgers, and what is the nutritional information of that? Well, that would be 1.7 times 10 to the 7 calories and 100% of foods you would encounter in your life would have less than 1.7 times 10 to the 7 calories, which I suppose is not too out of the ordinary. It's also a little under a million percent of your daily recommended number of calories. Oh. That's only 317 kilograms of sugar. 36 kilograms of saturated fat, or trans fat even. 281 kilograms of saturated fat does not pay to eat your oxen when you're starving or else you will probably die. Although, with 51,430% of your daily intake of vitamin C, you will not be dying of scurvy here on the Oregon Trail. But anyway, let's pop back into the game versus trying to find out the numbers involved with eating 40,000 hamburgers. You don't eat them all at once. Well, what if you're hungry, you know? What if you're like a goldfish and you just keep eating food that people put in front of you? It could happen. Somewhere. Probably. You sell the leftovers. I'm going to trade all these hamburgers for extra pairs of clothing in the Oregon Trail. An ox wandered off for two days. Well, you know, we've already crunched the numbers. Let's just turn it into a hamburger. Why do I need to wait for it? Oh, we're already off to a much better start. Nobody broke their arm the first day. All the teams are in good health, except, well, uh, no, oh, that's okay. 
189 bullets, one wagon axle, one wagon tongue, and 365 pounds of food. Oh, that's fine. We don't need to eat anyway. Short of that, we'll be just fine. There we go. 200 pounds of buffalo. Reset. No, it's going to be fine. Don't worry. No one's sick. Health is good. It's June 12th, 1848. It's a beautiful day here at the Big Blue River Crossing. Great day not to sink. Yes, don't, don't sink. There you go. How many hamburgers can you make with 200 pounds of buffalo? Well, if you're making a hamburger with buffalo, I guess you wouldn't make any hamburgers out of that. Just nondescript meat patties. Set the pace to grueling. That's kind of a death sentence, I think. Everyone is still in good health. Also, let me log off of AIM. The only person on the planet who still uses AOL Instant Messenger, I'm convinced. June 21, 1848. Thief stole 22 pounds of food. That's okay, we'll just get more. If the buffalo ever walks on the screen. Yes, I see you. Hello. Oh, come on! None of them! None of them walk on the screen! Every single one of them just walks in and stares at me. There. I don't even care. I only need one. It's a matter of principle. This buffalo need to learn respect. And the only way to make them learn that is by eating them. Two hundred pounds of meat and we are good. This is how the buffalo died. Well, you know, they deserve it then. Chimney Rock. What's that Chimney Rock? Chimney Rock is an important landmark on the Oregon Trail. All right. It's a spectacular natural formation of solid rock and okay. can be seen for miles around. So it's a rock. In fact, you can see it for a whole day as you approach it and for another whole day as you leave it behind. But it's a rock. If you don't see it at all, within a week or so after leaving Fort Kearney, you've probably strayed too far off the trail. Oh. Okay. What if you're just really slow? And, you know, what if this happens? What if a fire in your wagon destroys seven sets of clothing and three bullets? Just three? All right, well, what if that happens to you? And then you're delayed reaching Chimney Rock. How do we account for delays like that? Time to sell the burgers for clothing. You know, we're running out of food again. We gotta work on that. Normally, you only lose something like three bullets if, um, if that's all you have left. Because the game will take dramatically more than that, but will only take the, uh, oh. Never mind. That was all we had left, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> you used two bullets. Now we have zero. Let's do some arithmetic here on the Oregon Trail. If I have five bullets and twenty oxen, and I lose three bullets in a tragic wagon fire, how many bullets do I have left? Now, what do we even trade for bullets? I don't know. Thirty-seven pounds of food. Okay, I'll take it. I don't have the resources to survive the trip. It'll be fine, don't worry. Just gotta get bullets from random people. You know, just pretend it's GTA and trade for bullets, then turn around, rob those people, get even more bullets for free. It's the perfect system. 
A thief is still 1,328 hamburgers. We're just sort of a traveling McDonald's. Oh, that was nice. You found an abandoned wagon containing two sets of clothing, which someone probably died in, but that's okay. Pants are pants. 37 bullets, one wagon axle, and three wagon tongues. And four wheels and a bunch of other things, which I guess we're just leaving alone. So many wagon tongues. Who gets clothing? We should have enough clothing for everyone. Why so many wagon tongues? Well, you know, that's why everyone on that wagon died. They spent all of their money on wagon tongues and nothing else. No food, no oxen, just wagon tongues. And that was it. And now they're dead, and now there are wagon tongues. See, it all works out. Except for the fact there's no food. Why not wagon teeth? Because that's kind of terrifying. Here's my really toothy wagon. Wagon tongue, wagon feet, wagon mouth, wagon body, wagon tail, wagon legs, wagon, wagon, wagon. Oh, I think the word wagon just lost all meaning at this point. Oh, come on. Is there anything here to eat? No. Nothing? Nothing. All right, guys, well, I guess we're just not gonna eat today. Hope that's okay with you. Health is poor, but you know. Oh, pink's got dysentery. Tea pink. 50 pounds of food. 50 pounds of food. 50, oops. Broken wagon tongue. Well, that was fortunate because they happened to have an entire warehouse full of them. For one wagon tongue, yeah, no problem. Got plenty of wagon tongues. Let's share. I had a food again, though. Maybe I should just eat the wagon tongue straight up. None of this having to trade it for food garbage. Taking these tongues for granted. Watch. Just watch. I bet the wagon tongue's going to break many more times between now and the end of the trail. What are the teams? The teams are Team Red, Green, Blue, and Pink. That's what we have all of the party slots set to, and by changing your color in the chat, you too can join one of those. Eat Pink. I think Pink's sick. That doesn't seem like the world's best meal to me. Granted, I guess it's better than not eating at all, which seems to be the alternative. One squirrel. Plenty to go around. That's the appetizer to the bunny, which I did not shoot. Well, I guess we're just eating that. And that. There's an Oregon Trail mod that keeps tally of your buffalo kills throughout all the playthroughs. That seems kind of terrifying. You killed... 4,725 buffalo. You monster. Where do you see that pink is sick? Well, they got sick, and I'd check it out, but... I'm trying to hunt, or at least that's what the game tells me. I don't... I don't think I'm making any progress with that, at least. I'm making a Windows 98 game. I am. Using a piece of software called Click and Play. Key key. K-L-I-K N play. You know, it's spelled with K's, because it's hip and funky fresh. At least it was in 1998. I've never used it before. I've got no idea what it's capable of doing, aside from making really bad fan games and giving Team Green dysentery. But we'll find out together after this. We are well again. But is green well again?
probably need some food for that. You sort of know how to use it. If it's a game, or if it's a program made for elementary school kids to learn how to make a video game, I'm fairly sure with effectively a completed college education, I could figure it out. At least I'd like to believe that's the case. In all reality, I'm probably just going to end up making a terrible monstrosity with dancing baby gifts flying around. But if I could incorporate any of those god-awful Dragon Ball Z clips I downloaded on that Windows 98 machine into the game, I would be oh, oh so happy. And then I'd probably get the thing banned from uh, distribution due to intellectual property, but I can assure you nothing intellectual will end up in that game. Forget everything you learned in primary school the instant you enter college. To be fair, I forget everything I learned in college the instant I enter summer break, so that's not really saying too much. Search Rio Cities for the game. I might have to. I gotta get assets somewhere. There we go. One, two, three, four. That's about 100 pounds of meat. 102, good enough. Rest for one day, because Green is still sick. Okay, we'll rest another day, because Green is still s dead. Oops. Green died of cholera. Better honk for that. Got my Oregon Trail bumper sticker. I honk for cholera. Blazed on the back of the wagon. Or emblazoned on the back of the wagon, I'm sorry. One of these days, I'm gonna have to put it back in the game as a gravestone, because it hasn't been in the game for weeks at this point. And I feel like people who have never seen the original gravestone have absolutely no idea why we ever honk for cholera to begin with. How's the red team? Oh, red's fine. They're fine because they're the only one I've spelled correctly. Turum im blurr is poor. Team Gren is deceased and T Pink is also in poor health and no one else is sick. Will there be a honk emote one day? Maybe. I haven't really uh, thought a whole lot about emotes ever since the first three came in. South Pass. Let's go to the Green River Crossing, because that's all we ever do. Here lies Tim. Beware of snake dysentery. Okay. Keep it in mind. You do have three emotes. We got Guest 420, Mr. Bones, and BBQQT. I like how everyone put them all in in a totally different order. Team Red has the measles. That's only worth resting for two days. Turim im brochach has a fever. Hmm. It's a very throaty team name. Oh, come on, guys. Team Pink is cholera. Everyone who's alive just got sick immediately. Measles, fever, and cholera. All with a different disease. Because we're all unique. And dying. I guess. Yeah, red's okay. Gotta go get some more food, except it's raining, and apparently guns don't work in the rain. Severe storm calls a delay of one day. And well, you know, blue's feeling better. Just waiting on pink now. And if we can hit this buffalo, we will be fine. Come on. Come into frame. There you go. 337 pounds of meat. And we'll rest two days for pink. So they don't die on us. Team pink is fine, and off we go. And red is sick, you know, because they just got better. They have to fill a quota. Oh, jeez, come on, guys. Blue's got the measles. Is Pink gonna get sick, too? Just complete the trio? Again? Oh, 
Okay, two more days. Red is well again. How about you, pink? They have dysentery. And blue is well again. And you know, pink, I... I can't stop the wagon forever. We're not going to get any food. If you stay in one place, all the animals disappear. Lost the trail. Pink is dead. Ah, <sighs> pink. Oh, pink, what are we going to do with you? You were fine! You got better and everything! Now our health is good! The whole wagon party's better off without Pink. Yeah, you got those leg measles. Did not read all the signs on the Oregon Trail. Also, oh, we're gonna sink! Oh. Uh... Oops! The ghost of Team Pink tipped the wagon over. And now everyone is dead. <laughs> well... There's no point in writing the epitaph, because it never shows up if you drown, but... I hink. No, I honk for cholera. Maybe it will show off... or uh, show up. Might as well try to put this back in the game. Just to see. I need that gravestone back in the Oregon Trail, and it's kind of a shame that it doesn't show up. Hmm. Why didn't I take the ferry? Because the ferry costs money. Which is something I don't have. Have I ever beaten the game? I have. It was, uh... Actually, we've beaten it a few times, but most of my scores were bumped down by the Oregon bot, because the Oregon Trail playing robot is dramatically better at playing the game than I am. The fifth beetle is best playthrough we've ever gotten, where we had different beetles, I was gonna say characters, different beetles, uh, band members in the different party slots, except this, I think, was two summers ago. So, we haven't really surpassed this score in the longest time. Kick Steven Meek off the leaderboard. Do you think it's possible? Yeah, I guess it is. Hmm. We just have to keep scoring above 7,650, and eventually we can just dump Steven Meek, to the or Steven Meek off the board. You're about to begin a great adventure, traveling the Oregon Trail... Oh, I remember when I beat Steven Meek for the first time. <laughs> I called up, uh, this phone number to then tell everyone who made the game, Hey guys, I beat Steven Meek! Well, it turns out it was a residential phone number, and I just left a really bizarre message on someone's answering machine. If the recording of that even exists... It is probably going to go down in history as the most awkward phone call imaginable. Because I then called later to say, you know, because I realized maybe saying I beat the crap out of Stephen Meek and leaving that on someone's answering machine was probably not the best idea because they might think Stephen Meek is a real person and I literally murdered him. So then I called the cats, like, hey, I, I meant in the game, and, uh, yeah, thanks. Just gonna put the phone down now. Click. So that, that was that. I'm sure there's a highlight somewhere back when you could make highlights in this. And took that all away in the uh, new Twitch redesign. Oh, I got pink and green spot messed up. Can't have that. Gotta keep the order consistent. You hope you get a phone message like that one day. You say that now. Okay, let's leave in August. Let's do a drag race. 20 oxen. 
an H number of everything. Triple H number of bullets. Okay. Zero pounds of food, 20 oxen, all the teams. Grueling pace, because whatever. Off it goes. We're going to die, by the way. But we're making great time. This is how you get the Oregon Trail speedrun world record 20 oxen grueling pace from the get-go and just running non-stop. I sound different in that recording, but that's also because I think I had a different microphone at the time. Different microphone that didn't pick up the low end of my voice. So, probably a totally different sound on that. You got stuck in the mud. Pfft, whatever. Eat the mud. Doesn't matter. Health is very poor, but you know, doesn't seem to slow the wagon down at all. Why am I this far? That's a very good question. If you run so fast, the germs can't catch you. Also, red is exhausted. But, you know, they'll deal with it. They'll be fine. And pink is exhausted. We have a uh, very poor sandwich between two exhausted pieces of bread. Good job, red and pink. Good teamwork. What is the furthest that a drag race has ever made it? I want to say he... Here. But I'm not sure. Pink died of cholera. You know, that's what exhaustion means. You know, Red got sick before Green did. Or, uh, Pink did. And Red is still fine. Pink died first. Blue's got the measles, but... Hey, who cares? So, I am dead. I have 20 oxen. This is another marker for a previous drag race. So, uh... Hey, you know, we've already beaten one other one. Red is exhausted, blue's got the measles, green's got typhoid, and pink's got dead. And past that, everything's fine. Except for green. Green has seen better days. And so is Red. Come on, Blue. You died. You can't really rest with no food. You just sort of die anyway. Although normally by this point in the game, they uh, start giving you free food. Be it from fruit or be it from natives, but... I'm gonna die right here, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. So much for that. So that... Oh, wait a minute, the map just moved. <laughs> Why did the map move? I could have sworn the red thing just went forward a bit. I guess the oxen are still just pulling the wagon along. <laughs> Even though no one is there on the wagon anymore. They're just gonna make it to Oregon. No one's gonna be there. This phantom wagon's gonna show up one day. How did honking for cholera start? That's a good question. I think I just said it once. And I put it on a uh, gravestone and that was that. Died on your birthday. Well, happy birthday, Tanumi. I hope me dying made you happy. And the oxes lived happily ever after. You know, they want to populate Oregon with a race of half ox, half people. Something like that. I don't even know what to write on this. Remake the I Honk for Cholera tombstone. Yeah, why not? I Honk for Cholera! exclamation point. There we go. Now we can finally put that back in the game. No. 
Okay, so... Do we want to do one more playthrough of the Oregon Trail, or try to make a game in Windows 98? Ah, uh, no, no Roller Coaster Tycoon for now. Eh, let's try to make a game, why not? Seems like what the chat says. So this is the thing I've never done and will probably mean we're going to make a terrible monstrosity. Uh, I'll get back to Roller Coaster Tycoon in a bit, but um, I've had a handful of things in mind that I wanted to uh, play before I started the new version of Roller Coaster Tycoon, so... Let's pop into this, in my hideously unorganized Windows 98 computer. Uh, and I need to update the now playing thing on Twitch, so give me a moment for that. There we go. And this doesn't even fit on the screen anymore. Oops, no, don't maximize you. Close my Microsoft Word. And let's get rid of the Oregon Trail part. Making a game. Pause that. I subscribed myself, because apparently I don't get free icons despite owning the channel. Which I always thought was a little bit weird. But now I can do that, so I guess it's worth it. I wonder if click and play even comes up. Clicks too. Kleenox Doblesti 2. That's a game. Apparently. I don't even know what clicks is. Hope it's not some pornographic game. I bet it probably is. Oh well. What is that Kappa thing? Oh, what Kappa thing? Looks fine to me. Yeah, it's like Vegas Girls on the CDI. It's exactly the same thing. And let me just go and throw up a tweet about it. Um, put that there, put that there. Oh, that's the other chat. Oh yeah, I still have this open. Calories in 39,375 hamburgers. Didn't they say you can talk to Twitch about the whole subscriber thing? You probably can, I just haven't yet. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Making a game, I think. Or making a game on Windows 98. I've never done this before. Alright. Okay, so this is my god awful Windows 98 desktop, which, if you haven't seen before, it only looks like this because I pretty much downloaded everything I could ever find on the internet. Please upgrade your browser. Well, you know, I'd love to, but I'm using. I'm about 90 versions away, Windows. Cannot install Windows 8 on this. Cannot install Internet Explorer 8 on this. Oh, finally! I can finally, finally view Windows.com. Where would I be without the ability to go to that webpage? So, click and play is a thing. It's a thing I've never used. Oh, I misspelled it. It's K L I K and hey. It's this. Let you make, oh god. I think my browser's a little bit out of date. Um, it doesn't even scroll. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, hang on. Do, 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 do. 
So it is a piece of software that lets you make games. And I would love to read more, but if I've got to read the article like this, I think I'm going to scream. So I guess we're just going to have to figure everything out as we go. So click and play. I've never used this. Click and play for school. Oh, read me. I'd love to. This version of click and play can be used within the bounds of a school activity. Like what? Nap time? Like, what, what could I possibly do with this? I'm on a college campus. And I do have Windows 3.1 or above. So it seems like, uh, seems like a good match for me. Alright, let's make some games. Yeah, Twitch TV is basically school. Enter your name. How many letters can I have? Oh, a lot. Alright. What could my name be? Oh, I still got more characters. 420 slag. <laughs> 420 slag yellow. No, I'm good. That could be the name of the game. Sergeant Dubstep Dr. Tim. Oh God, the game, the musical, the movie. Just Tim. Hmm. Snoop. Why do I have Barbie Riding Club on my desktop? Because a couple years back when I would stream, I went to a thrift store and bought, or, uh, bought a copy of Barbie Riding Club, and then I played it. So now I still have the horse there. There. That's me. Tim the YOLO Game Master Extreme is my new game, or my new name. I'm the developer on my 1994 vintage click and play game. That's 20 years ago. You can use this program only within the bounds of a school activity. Alright guys, class is in session. Let's make a game. Let's play a game, actually. What do we have? What kind of games could you conceivably make? Well, apparently there's a scroll bar that doesn't actually work, so... Yeah, Professor Monotone. I could play... Gracilis V! That sounds like a terrible disease. Hungry Hedgehogs. Click and play card game. Music Madness! Racing Line. Reversi. Romeo. Slot Machine. The Face Game. <laughs> or Toyland! Cat game. Alright, Toyland it is. I don't want to play this anymore. Oh god. What did I download? Press space to begin game. Use arrow keys to control the skate dude. Oh man. Um. Why does he make that noise? Why did my... I'm frozen, dude. Oh. Am I? What is happening? Oh. Um. Vi video games. So! I can't wait to make a game just like this one. I can't even tell if I'm supposed to hit it with my face or not. Well done, yeah. Is is that is that it? What do I? I won. I won forever. Is this one of those video games everyone's talking about? You know, they just recently had a convention for things exactly like this. Well, I think I know all there is to know about click and play, so let's make a game. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. What is this? Why? 
why <laughs> why would you ever want a copy of this? Okay, frame one, level one. Uh, play game is finished. This is the game. Which is to say, there isn't a game. Okay, level one. Let's set up the level. Title of this level. What's the concept going to be? What's my inspiration? Hmm. Golf 420 YOLO swag. What's with Windows 98? Well, I need it to run this. The Human Anatomy, Oregon Trail, Political RPG, Sergeant Dubstep, Space Jam Off, Oregon Trailer, Level Franker Z, Sergeant Dubstep, Shoot 'em Up. Hmm. Just make a game called Don't Get Cholera. The Misadventures of Snoop Dogg. Hmm. How about instead of doing the level setup, let's see what pieces we have. And then we can name it based on that. Oh, hey, there's a Mr. Bones category. Symbols and game pieces. Oh, all right. I've got no idea what this is. Gas, danger, United Nations, Spain, Germany, Japan, fortune wheel. <laughs> what is the cap with hair? What is this supposed to be? Dance, dance, snoop, reputation. All right, let's put a fortune wheel there. And then, they call it Old Glory. Alright, American Flag is a platform. Fortune Wheel is not a platform. I've got no idea what I'm doing here. I don't think they even have a... Um, a um, tutorial for this at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, select movement, move it on a path. Yeah, it's just gonna be a bus. Can you mod the game files? That's a good question, I don't think so. What if the object is to just avoid buses and the bus just goes and you have to get from one part of the level to the other without hitting the bus what am I doing? I'm... oh I guess I guess I'm not doing anything okay <laughs> made the bus a little too crazy I think the thing is bugging out 100. Okay. And this can be... I want that to be an obstacle. Nah, that's good. Takes 4K of memory. Well, maybe not. So, what is our character? Who are we? Did we even decide that yet? Heaven, Earth, Fire, and Water. You know, that's what the face is, apparently. Smiley Cloud. Alright. And... A Sizzling Sun. Oh, resize. Okay. Perfect. I love it. Our character should be the skate dude. You know, I thought I would ask, what kind of game do you want to make? What do you expect to do in click and play? I don't think it is. Characters. 
Street Farter? That's... Wait, hang on, hang on. Street Farter. That says... I'm not, I'm not misreading that, right? <laughs> that... Oh, jeez. Uh... Oh... Okay... Street Farter. Sure. Sure. <laughs> I'm realizing a lot goes into a game, doesn't it? And I've got no idea where to even start with any of this Judy and baby there you live on the sun what else <laughs> looks like it's done to me what do you what do you even do like how, how do you start the game what's this new backdrop okay um How about... Oh, I only have that square to work with. Let's see. Edit this. And... Give it a face. What do you think the odds of this, uh... Getting published by a major game studio are? I'd like to think pretty high. You know, I'm, I'm sad I missed E3, because I think this game would have set the world on fire. Although it doesn't let me draw. Draw with black, yes, do something. Or nothing. 88%, negative 1%, 420% sounds okay to me. Triple A title. A goalie. Um. Hmm. What do you do with this? What do you do with any of these pieces? I'm, I'm really at a loss for how any of this fits together. Like, where, where does this turn into a game? I don't need a crowd. Yeah, that looks like people. Can I make the crowd into a platform? No, I can't. Oh, well. Oh, jeez. That's even worse. Reminds you so much of early websites. Well, okay, what happens... I've made the level. Or something, I suppose. I can't see what the bottom of the screen says, though. Level 1. Yeah, let's put a diner in there. Can I stand on the diner? That's a platform. Is there a compile and run button anywhere? I think there is, but what I want to do is event editor. Okay, so all of the events. There's a London bus. If it leaves the play area on the top, it... Oh, jeez. <laughs> this, is, this is entirely too uh, complicated just to mess around with half an hour and try to find a product at the end. Play music. Um, anywhere. Just, just find any sound. God, remember when you had to browse files like this? 
This is this is oppressively awful. I don't know if I can play Brawly. It wants a um some sort of sound file, and I don't know what it wants. Can I just record one? No, I can't. Play sample. Sample. Hmm. God, I... I don't know. If it collides with Street Farter, then it... It does this. It plays... Perfect. Alright. Player one. <laughs> what even is player one? Let's be honest here. Is... is... I don't have a player, though. Who am I? So... <laughs> this is the game. Apparently. But... Where am I? Who am I? I don't have a character, do I? I don't think so. Play game as finished. Yep, guys. It's done. Preferences. Show handy hints. Uh, I, don't, I don't think they've shown me any yet. I've <laughs> played it for days. 10 out of 10. Go back to the level. Alright. Oops. Level. Editor. Go to... No, none of these. Did you set anything to move on any sort of keyboard press? I don't think I did. Let's see. Controlled by a player. Perfect. Uh, up, left, right. Try movement. Hmm. Needs less gravity. Alright. Now, <laughs> somewhere in here is a game. Needs more steering wheel support. Can you even import graphics into this, I wonder? That would be great, but I feel like it probably will not know what to do. Pick objects from a game. Like, what, what format does it even want? Does it want bitmaps? Does it want dot art files? I've got no idea. Well, I I made this. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is a game. It doesn't have any sound either. Gotta work on that. It's gotta have sound. Go to... Where do you add sound in? Backdrops, backdrops. Well, like most games, it has... Um... Control? I don't know about the rest of it. So, when do I get this published? When does this get Steam greenlit? Go to Event Editor. Okay, so... If the player... If Golfer... Um... Moves at all, start the music. And... Nope, hang on. New condition. Player. Okay. Movement. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing. How did this ever convince kids to, um... to ever want to go into 
game development. Have all golfer been destroyed? If, if golfer is facing that direction, play... You've used this, have you? I'm sorry. Play music. Where would the music be? Music, music, music. Oh, there isn't any music, is there? Alarms? That's not music. Does this just not have music in it, then? MIDI file? Oh, it doesn't. There is no music at all in this game. Jeez. Play sample, I tried. It didn't seem to do anything. My music, which doesn't seem to have any files in it at all. This reminds you a lot of WarioWare DIY. Hopefully that's better than this is. Anything? It doesn't render... Doesn't seem to say there are any midis to play. Music is DLC. God, I hope not. Play and loot music. MIDI files. Any... Any place. Anything. Oh. Nothing. Oh no, my game! <laughs> oh no. Um. Did it say? <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a mercy killing or what. <laughs> it was for the best. It might have been. Let's. Let's try this. Actually, no, let's try... An action game. Gracilis 5. Alright. Now... I can just modify this and figure out how to make a game, right? Unlucky! Okay, let's... Put this, modify, game pack, that one, okay, level one. Yeah, I made that game so fast. Level setup, oops, not level setup, level editor, mission, edit text. Okay, video games. All right. Um. Huh. What am I? New text object everywhere. I don't. I don't know. Everything's Gracilis. Better not forget the name of the game. Okay, I think that's good. Go to storyboard. I like it. Level two. Level editor. Okay, so... You know, they never tell you how any of this fits together. At all. What are the objects? What are... This doesn't have a manual, does it? Oh. 
Okay, if this collides with that, what do I want to happen? I want it to play a sound, of course. But what? Goodbye. <laughs> yep. If that collides with that, it laughs at you. Okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Continue. When this enters the play area, what do I want it to do? Blast. Want it to say that. That's exactly what I want from this game. Blast. Alright. When it leaves the play area, it... Whoa. That's not what I expected that to sound like at all. Uh-oh. Boom. Okay. Collision between this and the level thing. Sweet. It's just going to be talking the whole time, I bet. Sweet. Leaves the play area. What is leaving the play area? What is this? A random dot. Beep. Beep. Why do I have a sound sample that's just beep? Beep. 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 When would you ever need this for anything? Beep. 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 Okay, when level leaves the play area. Goodbye. Okay. Oh, don't restart the game. Okay. Level object gets destroyed. It says... Hmm. I can't even hear these. Let me turn the volume up. Oh, it's way louder. Voice high. Wait, what? That's not high at all. We want it to cough. Eh, let's have it fart instead. And then it changes your score to 10,000 points. Then it makes a new object called... Um... The Cop. Relative to... The Skyrocket. Okay. Uh, the cop enters the playfield, and what does the cop do? Effects? That sounds like a game. Pop 5. Want to play... Oh, I don't think that's a sample. The most obnoxious noise so far. Bowling high, eh. Movement, people, toyland. What do people make? <clears throat> Cough them. Eek. Alright. Cop just burps. Then something else happens, which I still can't see. I just have to burp again. Blast. Sweet. God. <laughs> That's what a male kiss sounds like. Beep. My last ship is destroyed. What does it do? <laughs> Alright, sounds about it. And yeah, I'll have that happen a bunch, because it's it's a tragedy. Can I have it do it again? No, I can't. And then it makes new object. Uh, musicology, disco dork, relative to the skyrocket. Sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you can move the rocket. Well, the rocket needs to be there. Apparently, I'm supposed to move the rocket, having, you know, being the player for this. So dot collides with spinny number one. No! Yep. Dot collides with spinny number two. Yeah! 
this is just gonna be you lose. <laughs> Dude, I just gotta say. <laughs> oh dear. How do you submit a game to be greenlit on Steam? Do you think this counts? I don't think this is from Billy and Mandy. I think it's a far older program than that. What is it even supposed to be? Is that a cough? Yep, it's got a fart. <laughs> Jeez, I don't even know at this point. Poot. Poot one dot wave. You. Everything, everything is just gonna fart. I've, I've run out of ideas. B. Why is the disco man still there? Okay. Collision between Spinny and Star. Has anyone ever used this before? I've never seen this thing. Until today. That's an uninterruptible poot, I'll have you know. And then... Makes a new object. Uh, another disco dork, in fact. Relative to the skyrocket. Uh, that's a little too far. How about 500? Nah, 400. 300. Just to think, if I'd played this as a kid, I would have been Gabe Newell by now. If only I knew. Space Rhythm Action Game. What do you think all games would rate this? What's a natural sound? Oh, a piano. In nature. Cello tape. Nature. Um. 10 out of 10, I'd like to think so. This, I think, is the better way to go to make a game. Than just trying to make them from scratch, because you'll never get anywhere. Weapons. That's apparently a gun? Uh, gunshot four. I've got high hopes for. No, it sounds like somebody jumping into a pool. Mock gun one and mock gun three, but no mock gun two. Am I getting egg rolls tonight? I am not. Uh, let's see... Machines? Steam Pimp! You know, I like the sounds better. General sounds. Okay. Oh jeez, collision between two disco men! Okay. Collision between planet and spaceship does what? Whoa. I I don't know. Blast. Okay. The last ship has been destroyed. What does it say? Blast. Uninterruptible. Blast. Oh jeez, how is this? How are there this many things that could possibly happen? I am honestly surprised there are this many interactions in this game. How is this still going? Yes, everything. 
every Michael Jackson ouch. Fine. I don't know. He says ouch too. Last planet has been destroyed. Boom. Sure. Sounds like a thing. Oh god. Um, I think, I think I might have too much sound. <laughs> what, what if I just play it? What is it going to do? Now it's already here. Can, can I just play my game? Please? B. B. <laughs> I love the B sound effect. It's so pointless. Why would you ever need a voice just to say B? That's it. That's all it does. B. B. <laughs> B. What am I doing? I don't know. Collision between Spinny 2 and Spinny 1. I don't know. Please tell me everything that could happen is done. Oh, wait, if you shoot, it's got to make noise. B. Yeah. Jeez. Goodbye. Last spinny has been destroyed. It says. Boom. Sure. It's not. It's not shooting, is it? Nothing is shooting. I'm pressing fire too. Yes. I want it to say B every time I shoot. Press fire one and fire two. God. Just farts. That'll serve you. That's what you get. Teach you to do extra things with the game. Why are there so many disco men? <laughs> Where are they coming from? What do they do to make that happen? Blast. Oh God. Spinny one and spinny one. Blah. I'm really running out of things. Blah. Oh god, hasn't that already happened? Imagine if you're an elementary school kid and this is what you're doing in computer class. Just, you hand this in for a grade. Teacher, here's my project. Collision between Running Man and this. I. It changes the object. The cop shoots me at a speed of one. Okay. I don't know what that means. Then the ship enters the play. <laughs> what? How does the ship enter the play area? It shouldn't. <laughs> I thought that's the ship. Wait, what? what is the ship doing? How did that get there? Oh god, we have a brand new player now. I just wanted the object. I didn't want a new player to do that. Collision between rocket and rocket? I... Okay. The planet leaves the play area. Goodbye. Nothing. It doesn't do anything. Nothing else happens. Please, just... just let me play this. Okay. If the timer reaches specifically 1 minute 7 seconds and 79 milliseconds, it will fart. Please, no more. No more game. I just want it to save. 
I hope it saved. I really hope all of that saved. I'm terrified it didn't. Blast. Oh, that we're good. Alright, guys. <laughs> I don't have a shooting thing. How do I... Where'd my guns go? <laughs> I don't have anything to shoot at. Um... Did I win? Oh, I just made the sound. It took away the shooting functionality. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Get me out of here. I can't. I can't watch this. Okay. Where? Tools. Event editor. Oh god. Where is the shoot button? Voted in on Steam green light. If only. Okay, if you press player one presses fire one, then it shoots. How do I make it shoot? I have no idea. It just says B. Number... Uh, collision? Okay. Skyrocket. I don't want collision. I don't want movement. I don't want animation. I don't want any of this, actually. I just want... a thing to shoot. How does the level even end? <laughs> what if my roommate saw this? He just walks in. Hey Tim, what you doing? Oh, I'm making a game. Don't ask. Ever. Uh, I could save it as a standalone game. And you could play it. If you've ever seen this and thought, you know, that's a game I'd want to play. Add new picture to the game. Do I have any pictures at all? It takes a .pcx file. What is a .pcx file? I don't even know what these are. Bunny.bmp? What, what is this? It takes GIFs, does it? Game setup. Okay. Border color. Hot pink, please. The icon is going to be a ship with. Is there an undo button? Oh, there is. Oh, only the last undo. Hmm. Starting to think maybe this wasn't the world's best idea. Okay. I think it's good. Create game instructions. I'll write a doc. Oh, wait. Text file. I'm sorry. 
Oh god, what is this? What is a .wri file? I've never heard of this. One and three quarters. Arrow, 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 box, 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 space, space. Box, 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 y, y. Seven box, a, three quarters, box, box, i, umlaut, divided by, o, o, u, umlaut, box, divide, a, oh god. Ariel. Yes. Players. Oh, joystick. Yeah, I guess. Keyboard. Uh, your maximum score is... There. Okay. What else can I make this do? Yep. I think it's fine. 420 is your initial score. <laughs> I'm free to create games, distribute them, provided I do not charge for the same. The license to you for your use and the enjoyment of this program... I, don't, I think you're assuming a little too much there, click and play. Cannot sell any game made in the click and play software. Any attempt by you to distribute your creation in this fashion is a violation of this agreement and shall invalidate the license granted to you herein. Oh god, it's an EXE! Oh dear. You can now copy this on a floppy disk and distribute it to anyone! Oh no. I think that counts as terrorism. I don't even know what it's going to do, to be honest. I would be amazed if I could even find where it's saved. Um, where did it go? Hang on. I saved it. Game pack, alright. So it should be in here. So it's this? That was last modified just now, so I guess so. Um, now let's get rid of a couple icons here. Gotta make space. I don't know what the slot is, but now it's gone. Um, don't need Cyber Patrol. Make a folder. My art. Paste. Okay. <laughs> oh, great. Welcome to the Oh God Help install program. I'd like to install Oh God Help, please. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, that closes. Okay. You have successfully installed Oh God Help. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I wonder if this runs on modern Windows. I feel like it wouldn't. But I would love to know. Okay, okay, I'm better. Uh, <laughs> what 
teleport? <laughs> what, what does it do? <laughs> Did I... Is this the game? Is it just gone? <laughs> apparently... Apparently I replaced the whole game <laughs> with a Microsoft Paint picture of a bunny. <laughs> that's... That's the game now. Um... I don't think it plays. Nope. No, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> I think Oh God Help needs a bit of adjustment. So let's just... Let's just go back into click and play. And... Oh great, it's under the games director. <laughs> oh, now everyone can know I've got a copy of Oh God Help. Let's modify my game. It's in the my art folder, if I could ever even find where that is. Um, okay, modify game. Game pack. Um, which one is this? Is it this? You know, I found it a moment ago. Is it Gra Disc? Okay. Yeah, it is. So, <laughs> level two should not <laughs> should not be the bunny face. I know for next time that is what you get for winning. How do I move this? I don't know if I can. To be honest, I want to storyboard this out, but. I don't think I've got any way to move this at all. Add new animation. I... Um... What's an animation? What, what is... what is the file format for that? I messed up the win and lose states. Did I? Let's... It's a timed event. Three seconds. Um, it plays music. From where I don't know. Okay, let's let's give it a music file to play. Surely I've got a MIDI somewhere. Uh, yeah, it plays the Bohemian Rhapsody MIDI just because it's one I happen to have on hand somewhere. Okay. Minimize that, minimize that. And go into the MIDI folder. Uh, da, 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 go up. Let's see, my documents and MIDI. Perfect. Play. Play? Oh, there it goes. And give you like 25 seconds to enjoy that. And yeah, it's timed and it goes to the next frame. I feel like, what is this? Oops, I don't want to message you. No offense. Is this... Oh, wow, that is... Absurdly high definition. I don't think this will fit. But... Oh, wait, I'm saving it in the wrong place. It's got to be in the virtual machine somewhere. I don't even know how that would work. Hmm. Okay. No! Come on, virtual PC. Can you just click and drag stuff in? That'd be great. Oh god, you can, except it's a bitmap. Hmm. Let's open this in Internet Explorer and watch it choke. Oh no. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, that's close enough. Save picture. Snoop, with an extra O, and 
file. Game, no. I don't want to play the game. I want to make a new frame. Frame 7? Doesn't, doesn't do anything. Tools. Add a new level. Okay. Level setup. No. Level editor. How do I add in the picture? Objects. Hmm. I don't really want a level, though. What I want is... Not this. How do I... Put in the picture? I did it once, and I've got no idea how that even happened. Add a picture. File. Edit. No. Tools. Oh, add picture. Got it. Now, if it took anything other than a BMP, I would be amazed. Oh, that's right. It doesn't work in the My Art folder. Oh, it's in the MIDI folder, I think, right? Where did I save that Snoop GIF? How did I already forget? Oh, my pictures. Got it. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, God. Thirty seconds of Snoop. And then we have to find a MIDI that fits with that. What do I have for MIDIs? MIDIs. Uh, I've got... This is the only MIDI I've got, the Super Mario RPG battle music. Rendered really badly. That's fine. It probably dies that AVI. I've got a feeling like that's not gonna fit. I can't make it just play a um a whole video, right? Like th there's no way this thing's got support for just video, right? There is... No. It can't. Can it? Oh, FLI, FLC, never mind. It wouldn't. So, does this work like I think it would? Which is to say, not at all. In my mind, it will go from level to level. Uh, let's see... How do I play this? Alright. You know, I think some of the mission text got cut off, because it used to say more. Okay. Um... Should move on eventually. <laughs> I thought it said left and right would also advance. Oh. No. Snoop! I think the give is too big. <laughs> this is this is literally bigger than the whole game. <laughs> this one animation. Oh my god, wait. How did this happen? It didn't look like this before. <laughs> Guys, how did the game somehow get worse? Something went wrong. <laughs> oh, I gave myself 666 lives. Wait, what if I have more ships? It's just spawning new ones. Every time I lose, it keeps making more. Where did they 
come from? Oh jeez! Oh no! <laughs> I can't shoot anymore though! Right, now I just have one really dense ship. I think all the enemies went away. Homers. <laughs> I guess you win. <laughs> I guess so. I'm curious, what if I take this picture and I make it play... Oh, I don't want MIDI. I was thinking have it play a sound instead. My new Action 52 game. Um, event editor. I don't. I want it to just maybe restart. Then, if it's not gonna, you just join. What is this? Well, I was using Click and Play circa 1994 to make a video game, but I don't think it worked out too well. Well, let me just save you. All right. My standalone game was successfully saved. Well, I don't, I don't know if you can call this successful at all, but I'll take your word for it. There it is. Gra disk. Okay. Should just be all these. This would have to be on three entire floppies. It's that big. Can you download it? Eventually. We'll get there. Hmm. That doesn't work at all, does it? Oh, it's missing like half the files. There we go. Here's my standalone game. You're now playing Oh God Help. The game. <laughs> you left for 30 minutes. The progress is outstanding. I'd like to think so. You know, I made a thing do a thing. So... I consider this a victory. <laughs> I really wish it's animated, though. Upload it and become the next Matt Diggy. It'll it'll turn into a game one day. Yeah, these are the opening cutscenes. This sets the story. I love the B sound effect. It's got no purpose. <laughs> Are you watching a video game? Maybe. I'm not totally sure about that last part, though. keeps making more disco guys at the top. Unlucky, but I picked up the star. Hang on. Oh god. Why do I have more ships? 
Why are there three of them? My gun doesn't work. the next level. What coding language did I use? <laughs> I use click and play. No coding went into this game at all. I think it's stuck there. Well, it obviously needs some tweaking. Clearly. Now the backdrop needs to be... Hmm. Let's see. View, obstacle... Uh, let's... Okay, zoom in. Okay. Help. Oh, that's hip. You're not a word. Oh, it also probably should be white now that I think about it. Hep me. Don't hit me, please. I'm good. Man, this is atrociously written. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Once I'm running a major game studio, everyone will think, you know, this is where it all began. And you, you're watching it all take place before your very eyes. I can't put it on Steam Greenlight. I'm apparently not allowed to make money. Wait, import picture. Import picture? Can I? I don't see why not. Hmm. I can only have a little area, though. I gotta pick it. Oh dear. I don't even know where that where that's even gonna be. Uh edit icon, please. Oh, it's way too big. Yeah, I guess that's fine. not going to be visible, is it? No, not at all. Use the guest 420 face. Oh, I'd have to import that in, but that's not a bad idea. I just want it to loop. Just, just that. By the end of the level, when all the little spinny things fly off, I just want the game to start over. What's this? What is any of this? Tools. What's this tool? New backdrop. I already got one. New counter. Um, numbers. One. All right. Initial. Maximum. Fifty-six seconds. Oh wait, that's the maximum. Minimum can be zero. Forty-five seconds. Okay, fine. That's the counter. Now... What I want it to do is once you hit that time... 
Oh, it's not a timer. It's only a counter. All right, just make it go to 420 seconds then. God, I've got no idea. Tools. What's this? Q&A. Question. Select like font. Oh, Comic Sans, please. Navy? Pfft, fuchsia. God. Okay. Correct answer is video games, by the way. Okay. I don't know how this factors into anything. But it's just here now. <laughs> um, yep. I need some relief, please. D do you answer the question to move on? Like, what, what is... Uh, yeah, I guess that's there now. How does how does that factor into the game? Last oh. Week. Gotta answer the question, then you can play. Having a terrible nightmare right now. Can't even shoot the things. The gun doesn't work. Where are the ships coming from? I don't understand why I keep getting new ships. Just, just somewhere I keep making new ones. Counter isn't moving, you're right. Make the dancers <clears throat> excuse me, make the dancers killable. Uh sure. Where was the um objects game step through editor? Bad answer. If you pick a bad answer, what's it gonna do? What is this? Uh, nothing, I guess. Hmm. This might be the worst thing I've ever done. Which is really saying a lot. <laughs> this should have been at E3. It needed to be. Where does wait, does this not go away? <laughs> so, when when am I told to adjust stuff? Why is there still a policeman up here? Um Uh God, I have no idea. Disco dancer? Do you think this is a product people pay money for? That's right, now this is gonna do things. Yep. I don't... 
I don't know. I don't know. Sure. It is a quite good product if you're not timing it. I could see that being a problem, yeah. The thing is that I don't know where to even start if um, you're not already using the game as a basis for this. Because it doesn't really seem to give you any starting criteria for if you do this, then this. It just, here's a blank thing, have fun, you die. Um. <laughs> Blast. So what if you, what if you play it? Okay. Okay. Please, stop. I'm done. I'm done. Uh-oh. I think I made a restart. Infinitely. Might have been a bad idea. <laughs> Blast. Sweet. Uh-oh. 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 I'm just burps continuously. Um. Yeah, no video games. Unlucky. Is this? What did I do to this? Honestly, I can't even shoot anything anymore. Well, I think it's time to save this and export it as a full game. Try another game. I don't know. I can now run it as a thing. Would love to. Uh, where did it end up? Is that the one I just made? It is. Mission. Hello. You know, it's just a different thing each time. Time for real lives. Might not be a bad idea. <laughs> I'll never get over the fact that this is just... This sets up the plot. This sets up the tone for the whole game. Just... Hit start, and you just get this. <laughs> Where did it come from? Apparently, I made it at one point in time. <laughs> I really can't remember. So, there's a game in here, I think. Just an intermission, I get to go use the bathroom while the real game starts up. Nope, oh, okay. Blast. And then you play the game. I don't think. You know, once you get a new ship, you can't, um... You can't fire again. Which I think is a bit of a problem with the game. You can't... You can't shoot anymore. So... Yeah, if, if you die, it just breaks. Can I upload this to the chat? I'm gonna have to. I don't... Oh. Just grabbing the window does that. Oh jeez, nope, turn it off. I don't want it full screen, please. How do I... How do I... Get it... Out of... Uh... Don't 
want to be here. Thank you. <laughs> you can't leave. This is the... I... I I've got to find out. Okay. Now... What does it need to install? Like, if, if you were to just take this... Okay, and... Add it to an archive. Oh God, help. Zip. Okay. Now, if I were to, I'm I'm curious. Could I open this in Windows Seven? I'm going to tell you right now. The answer is no. Well, probably. But okay, this is going to go bad really fast. If I could find it, I don't know why it's inside my Magic School Bus explores the human body CD rip, but it is. So I don't think this is going to work. Nope. No, it needs a 32-bit uh, processor. How many bytes is this game? Well, the whole thing is unzipped. 3.94 megabytes. Is there a converter? No, you'd have to run it in uh, a virtual machine or something. Yeah, the, the installer is 16-bit. I don't think there's any way to get around that. Even compatibility mode's not going to save you for that. It's just a matter of, you know, the processor not working with this. You can run a 32-bit OS, that's true. But, um... Maybe, maybe I need to do a fresh install. How do I uninstall stuff? It has been a while. Let's see, where is... Where is Oh God Help? It's none of these, is it? Hmm. DOS box, it's true. You think it'll run if you could bypass the installation? It wouldn't surprise me. Yes, Xenofish, Fish, what did I do? When will the nightmares end? Well, you have to beat the game. Have to beat, oh god, help. It doesn't recognize it as a real video game because it's too much of a joke. How about we do this? How about... We... Try it. Hello, desktop. Woo. We'll get to you one day. How about we try it in another computer? So let's load it up on Windows 2000, get the full experience of installing it from scratch, and uh, see how it works on another computer. If you thought very badly, you're probably right. I didn't realize that being a visionary game designer was so easy. Apparently there's nothing to it but to be absolutely nuts. Oh, whoever's birthday it is, happy birthday then. How does, it feel, how does it feel to be watched by the world? I feel like someone somewhere is using the stream as evidence that I should be locked away. And I am providing them with all the information they need. 
Hang on. I'm trying to remember how to... That's probably porn. Um... How to... Get to my thing. Huh. Can I just drag this over? Oh, that's my uh, Oregon Trail folder. Can I drag the zip? That'd be great. Hmm, afraid not. Copy the zip? Cannot paste the zip. I also remember Stunt Track Driver. Uh, I played it once. It has a really, really issue, or a really big issue, where, um... The... FMVs don't play, which is kind of a major problem given that the whole game is pretty much driving a polygon car over an FMV. So, I don't remember how I even got it to work, to be quite honest. I know it eventually worked, but, um, what I had to do to make that function, I do not recall. Now, if any luck, this should pop up now, right? There it is. And... Where is Oh God Help? There he is. 7-zip. Unzip you. Okay, let's try Oh God Help on this. Or not. I guess I can't play this anywhere. Is this my website? Probably not. Am I Tim Weed? I am not Tim Weed. Oh man. I'm in the Banjo newsletter. Tim Weed at, or Tim at TimWeed.com. It's not my address. Sadly, it is a great email address. Do I wish I were Tim Weed? I don't know. People would have an easier time pronouncing that as my last name. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work on anything. Ever. I don't know if it ever worked on anything other than the Windows 98 machine to begin with. To be totally honest. You need to copy it over to the desktop. Oh, okay. Well, if that's all that it needs, then I will try that. Uh, network places, computers near me, that one, no wait, I lied. Oh. There. I'm kind of bad at computer. Okay, so take ohgodhelp.zip. Copy. Paste. I don't know if it's going to work, though. It should still be able to run out of the shared folder. Cannot find knps.dlo. Hmm. Well, if you don't have them, I don't have them either, so I'm going to have to download, click and play onto this, but I don't even remember where it came from. Did I ever play the game The Incredible Machine? No. I forgot the setup. How did I forget the setup? It's like, it's like, like, the entire thing. What is Code Red? It's like Code Blue, but redder. It is like a budget version of Code Blue, if ever such a thing existed. Okay. If you upload the file, you might be able to open it in the games factory and export it so it works on all the computers. Man, that would be so, so fortunate. Ignore the face. It's a long story. It is a very long story. Well, maybe it isn't a long story as much as it, or as much as it is just a very weird thing to explain why I've got some random person's face just there on my computer. Now, where is the installer? You know, I don't... I don't understand where that went. 
Maybe if I give it a new name, it'll try to install it as a new program. It's me. Yeah, it's, it's my child. Exactly. Uh, let's see. I guess, was it Rackdisk? Revdisk? Romdisk? Or Grawdisk, I think it was. Yeah, Grawdisk. Okay. Now. Maximize this. It's pretty much just the face I found on a random GeoCities website, which is where I found every single thing I downloaded on this computer. I should do more blindfolded stuff sometime. Actually, I was planning on giving blindfolded Pokemon another shot just so I can uh, attempt to A, do better than last time, and B, also draw at a map as I go. And I think that might be more interesting, because then you'll wonder, or you won't have to wonder, why is he walking into this wall? Why has he been going in circles for the past ten minutes? I could have a map up that I'll be drawing as I go, and then you'll see, oh, well, he thinks that's where this is. Well, that's an understandable mistake, or this is still a really dumb concept. I don't know. It's a thing I'd like to try one day, but I'm not sure when specifically. Okay, Oh God Help version 2. Maximized on boot up so you can't escape. Uh, border I already made hot pink. Multi samples, please. And. Okay. Now save it as a standalone game. Help me.exe. Okay. Now let's save it in a new place. Yeah, I'm going to save it to an empty folder instead of putting it somewhere else. I think that's probably for the best. Um, let's see... My Documents... Rich Multi Media Experiences. There we go. That's the folder that this goes in. Back you go, My Documents into rich multimedia experiences, file name ogod.exe, and you saved your game. But did you really? Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have an installer, to be honest. It doesn't, um, did I not? Is there a button for the inst- Oh, pff, I'm a moron. You're right, you're right, you're right. How did I miss that? How did I miss save with installer? That's sort of a vital piece of this thing working. There we go. Why am I so bad? I wonder that every day. I can copy it to a floppy and distribute it to anyone. Man, that sounds great. Okay, now, take this, 7-zip. Add to archive. Oh God. Dot zip. Okay. Now plop that in the shared folder. And I don't know why the only file or the only folder I'm sharing is Magic School Bus Explores the Human Body, but for whatever reason, that is my shared folder. I'm making a game. Actually, I just made a game. And now you get to tell me never to make a game again. Once you see the finished product. Don't copy that floppy. Actually, if you wanted to copy this floppy, I'm totally fine with it. It's a game people need to play. It's... If, if you want to be anything in life, if you want to learn about the nature of the universe, if you want to understand your own humanity, you need to play Oh God Help. You have my permission to let's play this. Make all the money on it you want. I will not take your YouTube bucks, no. 
doesn't have any DRM either. Sadly, it is not compatible on the Xbox One for obvious reasons. But short of that, feel free to do whatever you want. Circulate the floppies, make it like an underground demo tape. Uh, oh god, help.zip. No, it's oh god.zip. There it is. Put this on Xbox Arcade as an indie game. All 256 colors. Extract here. Into oh god. Set up. Install oh god help version 2. Version point 2, I guess. You can play this on the PC. In fact, you could probably run this in DOSBox and play it on your phone. You have successfully installed Oh God Help version point two. This program implies or impli employs highly optimized graphics drivers. Okay, guys, there's a lot, a lot going on in Oh God Help. You need the best of graphics cards to play this. I'm not even sure if this will run on the next generation of consoles. I don't know if we've progressed to that point yet. I was waiting for that MIDI. This game requires a video card capable of 4K output. In fact, it only runs on a 4K screen. Or, or on the 1080p Oculus Rift. We're, we're including Oculus Rift support in the next build of Oh God Help. Is the MIDI different? No, it just renders badly on Windows 98. Will there be a Wii U port? Oh, you know it. I feel like this game really benefits with a Wii U controller. Why is Snoop so pissed? Because he doesn't animate correctly. <laughs> and now you get to play a great space shooter. Oh god, the piano man's there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, you hit the piano man, you blow up. Oh, Jesus. Turn the sound off. It just keeps going. <laughs> I think the glitch with multiple... Oh, no, never mind. I guess I didn't fix that. Can't shoot anymore. No, no sticky keys, please. <laughs> what do they do? Turn the sound down. Imagine my roommate walking in. I try not to. I. <laughs> what happened to the music? What happened to any of this, to be honest? D did you really expect something from this? Oh. It laughed. How do I make it laugh again? I would be lying to you if I knew how to make any of the sounds trigger. No sticky keys. <laughs> Should I put this up for download? Why does it keep saying blast? Alright, well, I guess. I guess I'll go do that. <laughs> Give me
Give me a moment. And I will get this up. Let me just... Yeah, I'll throw it on the Monotone Tim site, which I never use for anything anymore. Okay. Oh God. Zip. Shouldn't be too much, although it might make the stream die. Oh no, we're good. So if I did this correctly, it should be monotonetim.com slash oh god dot zip. Oh yeah, it is. Here you go. <laughs> Fun. I don't think it was oh god v2. I think it was just straight up oh god. Yeah, because that's what this extracted to. So, there you go. That should download. <laughs> you too can have a copy of Oh God. If it works for you, I'd be amazed. You're going to sell this without my consent. Oh no, don't do that. Hmm. Just released. The newest iteration of Oh God. Get your copy for free now. Here you go. <laughs> Needs a Mac version. It probably would work okay in Wine, if I had to guess. Does it have steering wheel support? I'm sure you could work with that. <laughs> that is... What is the sound? Is that just the big MIDI? Well, it's nothing, apparently. So, you too can have a copy of... Oh God. <laughs> it doesn't work. Well, you need a 32-bit um, processor. If you've got a new computer with 64 bits, it's not going to work on that. So, keep an old computer around just for this. You won't be disappointed. You'll probably be terribly disappointed. Google is warning you. <laughs> is it? Oh, it's not the processor. You're right. 32-bit OS. My bad. My bad. Chrome said, Oh God, dot zip is not commonly downloaded and could be dangerous. That's depressing. <laughs> it needs to be commonly downloaded. Cannot find the DLL. Really? Did you install it? You need to use the installer. You can't use the uh, EXE only. Windows just blocked it. <laughs> oh well. You get the full experience on stream anyway. It, it should tell you what to do in the README though. Yeah. That about covers it. So I don't know the problem. going to speed run the game. I wanted it to go to another level, but I don't know how to make that happen. I don't think it will. <laughs> I like the beginning where it still feels almost like it could be a game. And then... And then you play it. And it doesn't anymore. One day it will be on Ouya. It does not work on a 64-bit OS, no, you need a 32-bit uh, thing. This should be a game in a pro league, I feel. How am I unlucky? What did I do? How did I lose? Wait, hang on. Why do I have so many ships now? <laughs> They're all blowing up. Jeez. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Where are they all coming from? You think if I kickstart this, 
I'll need the goal. I'll have a stretch goal for more levels. It just sounds like... You know in Ocarina of Time you're fighting the, um, lizard dudes? It doesn't even sound like a moan anymore, it just sounds like the noises they make when you fight them. You might need to overclock your PC for this, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of moving parts. You want it, it's up for download, just tweeted that. And... It's stuck here. <laughs> I did not make it go to the next level. Sadly. Oh, I gotta throw that on my desktop. There you go. Shortcut to ogod.exe. Oh Works for me. How much does this cost? It's free. It is a 16-bit program. This just in, the hundreds of pro gamers leaving League of Legends and StarCraft 2 to play Professional Oh God. You know, that wasn't even supposed to be the title, but... I think that's what it's gonna have to be now. Can you play real lives now? Play Hard Time? It doesn't work on this, sadly. It's unable to create a 3D scene. Getting Hard Time to work was the most aggravating thing. Uh, I don't think uh, Hot Wheels works. I don't have the disc with me. It's just gonna yell at you. Or do this, which is nothing. Are you gonna... Hello? Uh... Hot Wheels! Yeah! Uh, ew. Do I need to be in 256 colors? There. No. <laughs> okay, that's not the problem. The problem is probably that I don't have the disc in. Hmm. You know... I'm fairly sure when I was home, I made a uh, a disc image of it so I can bring it with me to college, but I don't know if I have that. Uh, oh, I might. Hang on. Let's try this. Is System 32 still gone? Should be. There should be a big hole where System 32 used to be. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. System 32 used to be right here, and then I deleted it. And, uh... Computer still works. Regardless. Hello, Macho Taco. I don't think... Wait, Lego Racers? I thought I put in Stunt Track Driver. What is SLE? Stunt... Something? Stunt nothing. Wait. Hang on. Something's happening. Yeah, video games! Okay, um... I don't have a lot of faith in this. Oh! Probably needs more than no hardware acceleration. Just a guess. Oh man, is this working? I remember this took so much effort to ever make work. Holy hell, it actually goes. <laughs> I did not think that was even going to work. God, I kind of want to play this now. To be honest, it's not even that long of a game. I'll probably finish the whole thing in maybe half an hour. Pour out some tea. Oh. 
Looks like interlaced butts. Oh god, that mouse is so sensitive! <laughs> Holy crap! I move the mouse maybe half an inch on my desk and suddenly it just flies across the screen. Oh, this is... Oh god. Uh, there. Oh, he already unlocked everything. D do you want me to just play this now? I guess I could. Ah, eh, whatever, I'll play real lives after this, let me just adjust the now playing thing. I'll play a little bit. Stunt track driver, then real lives. Stunt race stunt driver? Not close. Stunt track racer? It's not quite the same name, but okay. Play the secret acid trip level. You know, I forgot how to open that. You know, it's important to have a schedule in mind when you stream, or else this will happen. Never go anywhere. Oh god, I can't... I can't move the mouse. Oh, I can move the mouse with the arrow keys, though. Even better. It's the future. Now, from what I remember, this was always the car I picked. It used to be this one. Once you unlock this one, I don't think I ever went back. All the other ones are just sort of... crummy. Now, you could also play this game with the mouse, but... From what I remember, it does not work very well. I never had any of these cars in real life. Which is probably a good thing, because they would never be able to compare what they are or compare with what they are in this game. You know, this game makes Hot Wheels seem so much more exciting. And then your kids sitting home realizing, oh, none of my cars do anything nearly this cool. Imagination. Hey man, who needs imagination when you've got video games? Oh. That was worth a shot. Jealous of you then, dashing gentlemen. There's no wheels on the top of the car, is there? TV regardless. I don't think you get any award for that. You can do any number of over-the-top stunts in this, but landing them is always the issue. Can't you just hold forward and use the walls? Sort of. Oh god. Is there a restart button? Oh, never starts the whole thing. Never mind. Uh, you could drive on the walls, but eventually you do crash. You, you know, have to do some sort of steering in this or else. So let's try not to screw this up again. God, I can't seem to land anything today. Do a barrel roll with the control keys. Oh, can you? I didn't know that. I make this game look so easy. Yeah, that's why I miss every jump and have to restart all the time. The music is rad. 
it is a great late 90s butt rock. Is there a world record for stunt track driver? Does somebody speedrun stunt track driver? I feel like there's really no way to be any faster at this than you know the video playing for the level lets you be, short of just doing a crap ton of stunts everywhere. How do you acquire this? I have no idea. Copy on playing is uh, disk image I made of my copy back at home. Can you just imagine how much money all these pieces must have cost? Because from what I remember, Hot Wheels were surprisingly expensive for recycled plastic. Legos too. It had Lego Island and it made it seem like Having a crap ton of Legos everywhere could be the pinnacle of happiness, and then you realize tens of thousands of dollars of Legos at that point. Half assed landing on that one. The price of Legos is due to the Lego engineers. Sort of landed it. How far can you go backwards? All the controls get reversed, so it's sort of... Oh wait, they don't. Never mind. Going backwards, for whatever reason, always seems to make you crash dramatically... Um, dramatically more than going forward. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, God. Don't hold all the buttons down or that happens. Can I ever land any of those? There we go. Oh, no! No. I have to do this one over. No. Oh, it makes you start from the beginning. I could have sworn they let you start midway. So apparently holding the flip button, the spin button, and the barrel roll button all at once is a terrible idea. As tempting as it is. This is one of those games that everyone played at one point in time growing up. I cannot trick on corners. Hey man, it's a Hot Wheels car. It doesn't really do that much. And suddenly everyone in the chat says, No, I never played this before in my life. I never try to prove a point again. Yeah, I didn't know you can do a barrel roll. It was new to me. You had the Hot Wheels game where you can customize the car. I did too, and I hated it. It was like... Super Hot Wheels DMV Adventure. Or something. You, you have like... It came with... Special sticker paper that you were supposed to then stick on your Hot Wheels pieces. I never used it. Also, I'm gonna stop using the barrel roll button, because every, si uh, every single time I think I try to use that, I end up just getting myself in such a way where I can't recover off the jump. So let's just stick to this. Stick to the easy flips. I forget when I last played Sports Tycoon. 
last semester, I want to say. And the scenarios are all really short, from what I recall. Not a bad game, though, but you don't have a whole lot of chance to build your school up in the time limit is so... strict. When was the last time I played The Sims? That's a good question. Oops. I think when we had The Sims playthrough, and I put the Republican primary debate up in the corner, and, uh... We made sins for all of the Republican presidential candidates. And I think Mitt Romney set the kitchen on fire. And then killed everybody. Except for... I forgot, what was his name? God, I can't remember. Do I own the sins too? I do. Played it on stream, I think a grand total of one time. God, I gotta stop missing all these. I wanna see if I can at least try to beat this. It's only six levels, I think. Also, do they ever make clear Hot Wheels tracks? Because I've never seen them outside of this game. No. I want Hot Wheels in my toilet, too. I don't think I'm gonna make this. I just barely land in the trash can. Come on. Come on. Right, we're good. Did I ever play Stunt Track Driver 2? I didn't. I didn't know such a thing existed. Why does this kid have so much Hot Wheels track? Better question, why does he have a greenhouse? Millions of dollars in Hot Wheels tracks all throughout this place. This is Rich Kid Simulator. This is the kid you grew up wanting to be as a child. Gigantic house, loads of Hot Wheels tracks everywhere. Parents that don't seem to care if you crash your Hot Wheels cars into their brand new big screen TV. Living the life. And you realize no one has as much money. The exciting thing I think I've ever built with Hot Wheels tracks were, or was a single track that I had just enough pieces to make go down my single flight of stairs and then hit a jump, and then it bumped into the door. In midair, no less. That's about all the Hot Wheels tracks I had. Also those, um, the things, the booster bits that would spin and speed your car up, which took like six C batteries and were the loudest things imaginable. Also, the attic level is absurdly difficult. That thing, that orange thing with the little spinnies on it. I kind of feel like if you miss once on the attic, you're probably not going to have enough time to complete it, but... I might? 
seem very likely with less than 20 seconds left, but we'll see. Okay, no, now it's definitely not happening. Oops. Haven't beaten to this level to this day. Yeah, it's really annoying. Because you have barely just enough time to complete it, and pretty much messing up once dooms you. Do you even do anything? No, use the arrow keys to move. Against the pre-rendered background. Oh, I can't just pick this one specifically. Eh, I guess I can, whatever. I don't know if it has a time limit though. No, it doesn't. When was this made? 1998? Oh, God. I'm not very great at this. Yeah, the family's got a suit of armor in their attic. This family is absolutely loaded. Oops. Was this made in click and play? If only. If only. Stop reading and driving at the same time. Oh man, I'm gonna take my cell phone out too. Make a call and everything. My Twitter. LOL, driving a car. Retweet if you agree. set of Hot Wheels cars, and I think we sold them all. Maybe I still do, they're just in a box, and I haven't seen them in years. How can you do it any faster than that? Well, I would try it again, but you'd have to start from the beginning. And I don't know if anyone would want to see all of the tracks again, start to finish. Right-click the team to tell. I will. Give me a moment. Just pop in the rest of the levels. Does the tool assist speedrun of this exist? I don't know, but I feel like it'd be amazing if it did. Oh, God. Yeah, I made this in Pokemon Play, actually. This is my game, made in just half an hour. Thanks to the magic of Click and Play software. In fact, I even went on location and filmed all of this. No, I take it back. I drew every single one of these frames in this video file in Microsoft Paint and put it all together. Even call up the Hot Wheels lawyers and got rights to the game and everything. I love that this game just avoids the inalienable fact that any toy plus sand pretty much just ruins it. It's like, I could have my cars at the beach, and then they get just grimy and gunked up and useless. I guess for the kid in this game, his parents can just buy him a brand new set whenever, but... Putting anything in the sand or in the dirt just never worked out. Water. I can never get the grid out of the wheels, though. I unlocked the new car. Those little ones. Without a shovel. Is a shovel really a toy? What's that car I just unlocked? Maybe our parents got all of that money because they just gambled it all. They run a secret gambling establishment in the bathroom, in the um, basement. That's 
where we have all the money. Oh my god, this thing does not flip at all. So they got all the money for uh, Hot Wheel tracks. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is... This is a garbage car. They gambled on Hot Wheels. I guess so. Maybe they just own Hot Wheels. I guess I can't make that flip at all. The message of the game is, if your parents don't work at Mattel, your life sucks. This is literally a pre-rendered movie with a couple polygons of car overlapped. That's all it is. amazing to think that, at least for me, I never noticed that this game is literally just six levels long. And that's it. That's all it is. And that's not really a whole lot of game. Especially these days. Apparently I'm supposed to click something with the Mattel logo, but the mouse is super sensitive. Why is, it, why is my mouse moving to the right whenever I just click and I don't move it? What is it? <laughs> Every time I click, the mouse just moves. And the level select. Um. Hmm. I can't move the mouse. Oh, one of the T's, not the M. Sorry. I'm trying to. Right click. I am. It's... not... going. And I know what you mean, I've done it before. I'm bad at Hot Wheels. I'm so bad at Hot Wheels, I can't even cheat at Hot Wheels. Click. the other level select. That's the Grand Prix. I don't know. Nothing. Unless it's this one, but... Try the TM. Gotta go back to the other level select then. Hmm. Not get anywhere. Sorry. Yeah, the mouse is really sensitive. To the point where you can't really even move it. Title screen? Could try? Hmm. That. The T in hot? No, nothing. First T in Mattel. I don't know. I think it would work better if the mouse were more responsive. Oh jeez, how does it keep... It's very swimmy, like you move it and it just goes somewhere. The T in wheels, oh. Duh, of course. Do I have to complete the tournament? I could try it, but I feel like I'm not gonna win. Lock all the regular tracks. I did. I just have to beat every course without losing. How hard could that be? Click the Q and hop. So what 
the, uh... Announced the HD remake of Stunt Track Driver for the next generation of consoles. Is that a D3 and I just missed it, or... What's the case with that? It'll be an E4. Oh, okay. So what is your favorite part of E3? You, specifically. You know who I mean. Yeah, you. You. Did I see the E3 booth for Roller Coaster Tycoon? I didn't. I feel like such a thing doesn't exist. And I got a gold medal. Whew. Mom's gonna be so mad I broke the TV. That's okay, my parents can just play Hot Wheels now. So, alright, this generation, 360 got the red ring, PS3 got, I don't know, what did PS3 have? Yellow Light of Death, or whatever the issue was with that. What's gonna be the next issue that plagues the next generation of consoles? God damn it. I don't think I'm gonna win this. Cholera, oh. Jeez, how do I keep missing these? Press W, what is that? What does W do? It just makes me die. There's no way I'm winning this one. Which means I have to go back to the beginning! Press C. Why... Why does it have a crash button? Just C crashes you. Just even in midair. <laughs> Whoops. Too much friction. Oh no. Why? Why is there a suicide button in my Hot Wheels game? Damn it, chat. <laughs> Great. I'm never gonna win. Never gonna beat all these levels. You think the game never removed the debug mode? You're probably right. Crash myself. Oh, I'll crash myself accidentally, I'm sure. Oh, it does honk. I forgot what C does. Oh, I'll show you later, once I get to a point where I'm not going to lose if I hit it. Much better at music games. The thing is that, even though, you know, I'd love to hook the D up, or the uh, DS up, and play the uh, copies of the Wendown I got in the mail, you can't really talk when you play rhythm games. You really foul the whole thing up, or at least I can. Can't multitask that well. E button doesn't do anything. Oh no! Perfect. Do you have my permission to upload Oh God to new grounds? Hey, yeah, go for it. Do whatever you want with oh god, that's it. Also, I want to take a gulp of tea and suddenly it's all in my pants. <laughs> Don't uh, drink and drive. Or else that'll happen to you. Uh, the link to oh god should be up on the Twitter account. 
I did post it in chat, but it's probably long gone at this point. Google thinks it's a virus, because apparently ogod.zip oh is maybe not the world's most uh, trustworthy file name. You can do absolutely anything you want with God. I don't care. Anything. Except charge money for it. Whatever you do with Oh God has to be free. Can you mod it? Yeah, go for it. Give it some awful, deprived, or depraved fan art. Up to you. Oh God belongs to humanity. Can you give people money to take it from you? Sure, why not? What is Oh God Zip? It's a game I made on Windows 98. It's not very good. Let's play it on YouTube, and I swear I'll never come back and ask for a portion of the profits. Will I add my PC specs at the bottom of the screen? Probably not. To be totally honest, I don't really think anybody cares a whole lot. At least what my PC is. You know, as long as the stream runs, I think that's all people are interested in. If it ran like garbage, maybe they'd want to see some sort of justification as to why that is, but... Everyone, look at my three-year-old laptop! Oh. Hey, that's the, uh, Volcano Blowout set. Which I always wanted as a kid, and I never got. Okay. Now, the attic, again, is the most obnoxious of levels. There's really no room for error here, or else you're not going to have enough time to complete it. When my plane real lives? Uh, not too long. Why not skip the stunts? Uh, you need them to build up speed. And if you don't do enough stunts, you're not going to have enough speed to make it to the end of the level in time. I guess it's not hard to know all the weird quirks in this game, considering there's only six levels. And they're all less than a minute. Or more or less, less than a minute. Oh no! Go! Go! Don't! Do! No! 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 Oh no! You're kidding! Oh Jesus God! No! Man! <laughs> Thanks game! I kind of want to do it again, but I don't want to have to play through more of Hot, le hot Levels. Hot Wheels. Just to have that happen. A second time. <laughs> yeah, just, just uninstall it. <laughs> That's what you get. Sick of you, Hot Wheels. We're not friends anymore. Now, next time I play, I'm gonna have to unlock all the cars again. <laughs> I already played Lego Racers. It has a terrible habit of crashing all the time. Um, it'll load and say, Oh, hey, I'm gonna crash after playing for about 30 seconds. Do I have Moon Tycoon? I don't. Like, as much as I want to play Elite Beat Agents, I don't think it's a good game to stream, simply because I can't talk while playing. Oh, 
Wow, I played Lego Island last week. Also, this is still the catchiest piece of video game music ever. I'm convinced. Ever, on any system, of any era. This takes the cake. Player Bones. You hated this- did you really hate this song? How do you hate LEGO Racers? I'm gonna play this until it crashes, which I guarantee you is probably within a minute or two. pop into real lives. Why they made the shoot button enter in this I will never know. I need a third hand to even hit it. Also the textures are super jittery. Jeez. These games models are rendered using point cloud data. I have no idea what that means. But I'll take your word for it. Now I'm losing. Yeah, the one time I expect the game to crash, it doesn't. Every other time I tried to stream this for real to get through the entire thing. It would last maybe until partially through the first lap and then just bomb out the people. Why not just get the green war? Uh, I probably should. That's really the only item that matters in this game, just this thing. This is like Diddy Kong Racing without the good parts. I didn't have Diddy Kong Racing. I had this. This, this was my racer. on the N64 and I had to uh, use the controller pack to save, which I think is the only reason I ever had the controller pack. And mine was some off-brand thing, which I think also rumbled. And not very well. The game sound- oh, you're right. I'd notice how loud the game was. My bad. Sorry about that. I'm honestly surprised it hasn't crashed. Although, look at those ground textures. It's moving all over the place. It's like I'm racing in a brown river. God. It's nauseating. turned on hardware acceleration. Is that why it's not going to crash? If only if I didn't delete System 32 on this computer, it would have been fun. Ever since I did that, I've just been acting a little strange. My car's turning is shite. Well, I mean, look at it. It doesn't even really look like a car. By most accounts. The guy driving it's dead. And the guy on the keyboard is from New Jersey, so I mean, you can't really expect a whole lot of driving ability here. Did I get all the shortcuts? I don't know where the one is in here. Somebody told me it's behind the waterfall, which wouldn't surprise me because if there's ever a waterfall in video games, there's always something behind it, but I don't think I've ever gotten into it. Play real lives now. I will in a moment. I thought this would have crashed at this point, but it's still going. Ow. The 
best racing game is still Sonic R. You know, I unironically love the Sonic R soundtrack. Oh, just crashed. I went to go and use the boost, and then it blew up. Oops. So much for that. I can just play Oh God instead. You know, a good game. A good, stable game that won't crash. There should still be the uh, download for this up. Stream Puyo Puyo. I don't think that'd be that interesting. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot to say about Puyo Puyo when I play. It's just, oh, where's the green? Where's the red? Whatever, whatever. Things like that. It's just me panic- or, uh, frantically screaming at the game. Anyway, we'll pop into real lives in just a moment. This is Oh God, I made this game. You're free to download it. That's the link. I swear it's not a virus. Am I going to stream Roller Coaster Tycoon 2? I will. Just not tonight. Because I've got to go to the lab tomorrow. To run me some gels. Got to do some silver stains. <laughs> so, in case you haven't seen, this is the game I made. <laughs> I don't remember what's triggering the sounds, but apparently something. This has got to be the most bizarre thing to walk in on if you haven't seen it in the make go. Okay, why did it restart? That's new. <laughs> it didn't even crash, it's just starting over. <laughs> Well, there you go. Now, I don't think it's level 2. I think it's just gonna go back to the beginning. Is it a bug, or is it replay value? Computer is tired of my childish games. It's got great replay value. Did I make all the sounds? No, I didn't. These are just midis that I happen to have on this computer. <laughs> you know, it should have only farted if you click now on blast, Ouya. Blast. Blast, blast. I don't know why it farts all the time now. Blast, blast. Oh! If you hit... If you get... <laughs> if you get the piano player after 30 seconds, the game resets. That's right. Forgot about that. Oops. There's also the first 20-something seconds of Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> That is Bohemian Rhapsody. It's a MIDI I happen to have on the computer, and then I just figured, you know, let's put it in the game. This is also the other MIDI of two I had on that computer. The piano player is a death sentence. Alright, I'll switch over to real lives in a moment. I think the joke is worn thin at this point. Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 the dumbest thing. 
Don't act like I'm not proud of it. I don't know what I am. Parents will never let me come home. You know, it seems somewhat more stable than last time, because I don't have a thousand ships. Anymore. Oh, never mind. I, I did make this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can I have my comp side agree now? I think I've earned it. <laughs> you know, it seems more stable than last time. <laughs> There's more targets to shoot, except I don't have the ammo. more disco men than I had last time. <laughs> um, I have no idea what's doing what. <laughs> I can't keep track any of the sound effects. It just farts every now and then. I program it badly. I think is the answer. Yeah, I can't shoot anymore. Please, I can stop making noise. I can't. I can't make it restart. Oh. It had music this whole time. Wait, did it? Where'd it go? Huh. That was a mistake. <laughs> You know, if Sony is focusing on indie developers with a PlayStation 4, do you think... Do you think this counts? Can I get a dev kit? For free? Kill it. Kill it. Whew. So, that's a video game. I made it myself, in fact. You too can play ohgod.exe. It's up for download. There's the... No, it's not the link. That's the link to my Twitter page. Or my uh, Twitch page. I already posted the link somewhere, but I'll dig it up. There it is. You can get it for free. Totally, absolutely free. As in, no money. Just for the low, low price of... Never-ending mental anguish. Therapy is not included, though. You're going to have to provide that for yourself. Channel is updated. Woo. It's a journey into the self. <laughs> Pay money to stay away. Don't you feel like a better person now? Having tried it. Anyway, we just pop into real lives. Real lives. Again. Eh. Let's do st I don't <laughs> I don't know even how to phrase these tweets at this point. Real lives, let's do stuff. That's a good way to preface this. Let's do stuff indeed. Uh, nope. Load that up. Uh, I'll put Tiny Elvis in here eventually. Give me a moment. It's got to boot first. My little thing is blinking. 
There we go. Oh god.zip is not commonly downloaded and could be dangerous. As much as I want to replace that face that pops up, I feel like I can't. I feel like it's just part of the Windows 98 experience, at least on the stream. So, as tempting as it is, I just don't think I can do it. Oh no! Barbie Riding Club! I thought Desktop Horse did work, but now it doesn't seem to load. And you shouldn't need the disk in for that. Maybe I've got too many colors for Desktop Horse. Or maybe I need more hardware acceleration? I don't know. I've got no idea. Could have sworn this worked before, but apparently not. So, welcome to my desktop. What is of all time? Um, there was a program that was this. It was called Scratch. And you pick a loop and a scratch. So I think my loop was... Pikachu, these are all things I downloaded off GeoCities at the time, and the scratch was of... no, it wasn't this. It was declare.wave, and you would play them, That's right. and then my... you can just do this. Something like this. And you just make a mess. Or music. So that's. And then you get arrested. That's what this was. So. That's what this ended up being. I, I showed this off last stream, though. Should be up on YouTube already. Up for free download as well. <laughs> it's the perfect compliment to ogod.exe. I would love if I could play. Actually, I wonder. Maybe I still have the disc for it. Hang on. Should be here somewhere. One day I will make a, um... A sequel to Charlie Race The Party Chronicles, which is a movie I made in Windows Movie Maker. Or not Windows Movie Maker, Windows Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. In fact. Let's see if it's still here. Hey, let's go see a movie. Come on, it might be funny, maybe scary. You pick. Oh, it will be scary. Look at this, look at this face! I don't actually know. It's none of these. Samples? Where is... my, uh, movie? Let's see, my documents. Movie Maker? I think it was... No, it wasn't Butts. I think it was this one. Is this... Uh... Ta-da? Hang on. I know I saved it, I just don't know where. Hey, that was excellent! What should we do now? That, that wasn't... that wasn't anything. So the butts is a different movie. movie you want to open. When Who's Mick Z? The okay button. I didn't save it under samples. Is it this? I don't think so. It should have a uh, preview. Right? Yeah, there's nothing here. 
Hey, that was excellent. What should we do now? I can't play butts. Butts is not. I mean, I can, but it's not. It's not as good. The name of the movie you want to open. When you're done, click the OK button. Hmm. Butts is the thing I made the first time I tried to uh, use this piece of software on stream. And I don't know where Party Race is. That was, that was the best. Butts is sort of proof of concept. Trick ever. Oh, 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 okay. You've got a deal. <laughs> Gotta get to the party before Charlie. My grandfather, my grandfather, my grandfather, my grandfather, my grandfather, my grandfather said. You asked for it. Hey, that was excellent. What it, no. It really wasn't. Where did where did party race go? Select the name of the movie. God, where did party race go? That was a great film. Okay button. <laughs> Sonic Spiral Adventure. <laughs> oh jeez. Where did that even come from? No. It is on YouTube. It's been on YouTube. Hmm. I want to alt tab out of this, but I don't know if I can. There we go. Where is my video? Close. No, close. Close. As in the X. Close. Close. No. Close. Oh god, what it Close? Where's my mouse in relation to this? Okay, that's close. Maybe it's on my uh desktop. <laughs> Do I need help? Hey man. I'm a filmmaker visionary with a computer that's less than functional at the moment. End task. Oh god. No, I don't... I don't want to play this either. Stop. No, I don't... Yes, end it. End it. What is it clicking on? No! No more! Stop! Stop! How do I... It's not... No! What are you doing? End! Pause! There! <laughs> Let's try this again. It, it's Windows 98, you know, it, it just sort of does that. So... Now I'll find... Oh, this face. Now I'll find a copy of The Party Race. Which is a thing that I made on Windows Movie Maker. Or Windows 3D Movie Maker. But I don't know where it is, to be honest. It's not that. It's not that. I don't even remember what I called the file, to be honest. What happened? Everything broke. Um, let's see. It's not butts. It's not that. It's too small. Hmm. 
you think I called it party race? What's pretty girl? Uh, this. I don't remember why I made this. Oh, oh, I was on AOL and this was the headline and I was streaming AOL and I did this and I even signed it too. You can get a limited edition print if you want. Let's see. Find files party. Nope. Look in everything. Where is party race? You know, how about what's the file extension on these? 3D MM. Oh wait, 3 MM, not 8D. There we go. Now one of these is party race. Or it should be. Samples setup. Ideally, I would assume the biggest one would be party race, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Trans party? I don't think I would have called it that. I don't even see it, to be honest. I guess I could show the YouTube version, but I wanted to find the original. Go back to the source. Oh well. It was a BMP. It shouldn't have been a BMP. Yeah, I guess. I just don't have it. Yeah, maybe it never happened. I just dreamed this. Dreamed of this movie. The book. The thief. Zprog. Is it Boo? Can't be Boo. I don't think so. I think the size is too small. No, this just says Boo. Well, it certainly delivered on that. Great. Does... Does this do any... Oh, jeez. Well, I'm a better person for having seen this. Whatever this is. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Remind me to delete Boo. Don't need to ever see that again. How do I open a movie? Here are all the tools you need. See the scenes you can shoot. Open. Is this open? Open. Select the name of the movie you want to open. When you're done, click the OK button. I've done of these. Samples? No. I think I just lost the copy. Just straight up lost two time. No, I just don't have it. That is a shame. No, it wouldn't be in the Elvis folder. Hmm. I just don't have it. Nope. Yeah, I probably should have kept the backup. No, Rich Multimedia was the game I just made. It is the Charlie Chronicles. But I searched all the 3D NM files and it isn't in there, so I'm assuming it just got lost somehow. So all I have left is butts. I do not have the party race. Oh well. It's up on YouTube for what it's worth. Oh no, not this again. Why, computer? Every time I open this, it just goes to crap. 
Maybe it was inside System 32. No, that's on the Windows 2000 machine. The Windows 98 one's okay. Do you want a link? I guess while this loads, I can load that up. Um, there it is. This is Party Race, the Charlie Chronicles. Nah, I can just screen cap this as Windows 98 loads up. That's apparently the Deku tree, for what it's worth. Wow! And that's it. And then, you know, related videos or Westboro Baptist Church. Because they're both terrible things that should not exist. That and my film. So that that was Charlie Ray's The Party Chronicles, which is the movie I really wanted to show off, but I guess I can't. I think I lost the original file. Which is a shame. I still have this. 98% in Rotten Tomatoes. I would hope so. One day I'll make a sequel, but it's kind of a bummer that I'd have to start from scratch. My screen look... Oh, you're right. My bad. I still have that area screen capped. Um... What am I doing? What am I doing? This one. Real Lives. So this is Real Lives. If you haven't seen it yet, it's sort of like the Oregon Trail, but modern day, and the moral is that if you live in a place that isn't a well-developed nation, things won't go that well. The other moral is don't invest all your money in high-risk stock, like me. Oh, Elvis, you're right. I forgot to turn on our good friend Tiny Elvis, who pops up every now and then to give his opinion on things. Every five minutes seems to work. Oh, nope. Hang on, I didn't want that. Resolution is too big to fit on the exploit window now. There we go. That's a little better. Okay. Real Lives 2007. There's apparently a newer one out there, but this is what we've got. Okay, so this is us. You were born today a girl in the village of Kenya's Nyanza province, not far from the city of Kisumu. Which helps put that on a map for me. I guess your parents have named you Fasolad. Fasolad Sankara. Okay. So here's me. I'm zero years old. Dad is OBK. Mother is Maran... or um... Marjani. Sister is Abina, brother is Coffee, like him already, and sister is Ashanti. Living in Kenya, using the shilling, we've got no TVs, radios, t <laughs> no TVs, radios, telephones, cars, or education. And my endurance is three. So if I walk up a single flight of stairs, I'm effectively done for the day. What am I planning to do? Well, ideally not die. My sister's got the measles and my growth is being stunted from inadequate protein. And I've got a new baby brother. So that was an excite or, um, eventful first year of my life. Ugly and out of shape. 
Oh, my appearance is 16. You know, that's still double digits. Could be worse. I'm really artistic. Also, my sister just died of measles. That's no good. Did you know that Kenya has a varied climate? I do. Thank you, real lives. My sister Coffee goes to... Or brother, I'm sorry. My brother Coffee goes to school this year. And I'm three years old. Not really anything is happening at the moment. Brother's got the measles. I've got malaria. You know... I remember this being more exciting. Maybe starting in Africa is just... I don't know. Going to plague you with a whole bunch of diseases from the get-go. I've begun school this year. Oh man, next year I get to decide what I want to do. Look behind me. Do I dare? No, oh, there's no one there. My sister's become too weak to attend school. Oh. Brother goes to school? Now I'm old enough to decide what I want to do. Did I ever play the Encarta game? I did at one point in time. You have nearly drowned, but managed to survive without permanent injury. How did that happen? Okay, so... Working on fashion to bring my appearance up above 16. Clock the wagon. I'm afraid I can't. However, I can get Shistomiasis. Endurance is three, but endurance has always been three. Also, in case you've ever wondered, most Kenyans eat a good deal of corn and beans. Wow. Educational. What happened to my roommate? I've got no idea. My sister has cirrhosis of the liver due to hepatitis. This is dramatically more depressing than I remember it being. My sister died of cirrhosis of the liver. Now I'm too weak to attend school. Can I just re-roll? I think. Mother is bladder cancer? How about you make a million dollars and you move somewhere else? And you don't die and no one gets sick and everyone's happy. You've come across a mess by... Excuse me. You've come across a mess left by another unknown individual. It disturbs you that anyone would leave such a mess. You have some time? Will you clean up the mess? Chat says no. Leave the mess. That wouldn't be real life. Alright, well I guess leave that mess. My brother graduates from secondary school. My brother marries Afia Savane. Sure. Why not? Well, I look for a job. I'm 15. Um. Whoa, man, look at that pixel. What do you think about that? Man, that thing is huge. I don't know, Elvis. I think you're a great career counselor. Well, I'm inspired now. Let's see, where is King of Pop? Uh, handicraft worker, that's close enough. I'm gonna have the most successful Etsy shop ever. Come on. Give me the job. There we go. I'm gonna do activism. Yeah! Kenyan households include members of the extended family. Okay. You have run afoul of the government due to your political activism and have lost your job. Oops. Well, screwed that up. It's okay, I'll just ask for it back. Come on. There we go. So, guys, hey, I'm back. Just ignore the fact I was thrown in jail for a moment. My mother's dead. Oops. Brother gets married. Famine has hit Kenya. Not us, though. And look, I'm making 847 Kenyan shillings. My brother has malaria. My brother moves out. Some of your... Oh, I can't read. Some of your friends smoke cigarettes. It seems to be common in your peer group. Will you join them? Chat says yes. 
Okay. Took up smoking. You're considering giving up smoking. Well, that was fast. It'll make me cool. I guess... <laughs> I guess I shouldn't stop then. Give up smoking. Never! How am I infertile? How do I have the most problems in this household? My brother's wife recovers from depression. My brother has graduated from secondary school. My brother gets a job. Some of my friends like to drink alcoholic drinks. You know, I might as well just do everything at this point. The faster everything goes to crap, the faster I could start a new life where I might make it past 25. You're considering giving up smoking. Would I like to try? Well, Blue Shirt says get drunk, get crunk, so I think he doesn't want me to. Some of your friends use illicit drugs and would like you to take part. Will you join them? You know, what have I got to lose at this point? <laughs> Jess says yes, okay. I've got every problem known to man. My father died. My brother has asthma. My brother's wife has hookworm. I've suffered malaria. Oh god, no one's here. Where did my family go? Everyone just disappeared. Oh. I did so many drugs, no one wants to be near me anymore. Wait, do I even have a house? Hang on. Minimal food, which I can't afford. Meager food, simple... I can't afford any of this. My expenses are massive. And I don't think I can get a better job either. Wait a minute, why am I... I'm being shorted a thousand dollars to be a handicraft worker. There we go. Now we're good. Marry. Might as well. Oh god. Deep... Puanyane Agbeko. Yeah, sure. His artistic is 92. Mine is 70. Sheeta. Oh! Huh. Guess I'm a lesbian. Never gonna get married in Kenya, though. Or, uh, Kenya, though. Moso Motsane Afuko. Strength is 9. Endurance is 3. Perfect. Totally fits. She feels the same way. Let's get married. Or not. I can move to the Netherlands, but... I don't have any money. My brother has taken a dangerous fall and suffered some brain damage. Can I get a break? From anyone? No one? At all? Would I like to end my relationship? No! I love you... Most... To hey man, Elvis. check out that cursor. Man, that thing is huge. Elvis, you're the best marriage counselor. My brother has been hurt on an accident in the home. Didn't he just have brain damage? I've suffered from malaria. Oh, my girlfriend broke up with me. But now I've met a new man named... Named... Kamisi Agyeman. He's a scavenger of used goods. Well, that seems like a promising career. Let's do it. But he doesn't like me. Nothing goes to charity. I barely have any money for this. You met another new man named Seifu Saba. Yeah, sure. Who also doesn't like me, apparently. Oh. I don't think I can get education, to be honest. I don't have any money for that. I need to keep my job. No, I can't. For whatever reason, the school options always grayed out whenever I play this. But I have to give up drinking, or smoking, I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't know, what's the chat think? Someone says no, okay. If I die, it's your fault, Mr. Great Ape. You have the opportunity to make a huge profit at what is described as very little risk. The nature of this deal is somewhat cloudy, but you've been assured by a friend that it's a good opportunity. Will you risk 36,098 shillings on this deal? 
course the chat says yes. <sighs> Goodbye, money. Oops. It is recommended that you avoid... kind of this deal. Wait, what? It is recommended that you avoid kind of this deal. Okay, sure. English. My spending is creeping up. Malaria. Nothing goes to charity. Finances. Every single time, every day, every year, it always ends up taking my spending and just throwing it through the roof, but in this case, I'm not sure where all the money's going. Because 828 plus 828 plus 138 does not equal 2400. So... Somewhere... I'm being robbed. God knows where that money's going. Oh, is it my drugs? Okay. You're right, you're right. I met a new man named Ayatoro Gibdema. He's worth 68,000 shillings. Let's get married. Nope. Would you like to invest money? I've got 25,000 shillings in cash. Oh, sure. 25,000, high-risk stock. Off we go. Brother's wife gave birth to Badua. Expenses are greater than my income. Uh, can I get a better job? Traditional medicine practitioner. Sure. Why not? I'll sell magic spells on eBay. I've met a new man named Okafo Kampayore. Honestly, I'll take anybody at this point. Become a thug. How? How did my brother fall again and break his skull? He fell and had brain damage. He fell a second time and broke a bone. Now he fell and cracked his skull again. Why don't we just tie him down to the floor? Like, now he's suffering from malaria. 65% of Kenyans are Christians, which I guess is semi-related to my brother falling off the roof again. My boyfriend has proposed marriage. Yay! Let's have a baby. Oh, I'm infertile. Oops. Well, I guess I'll just find a baby. Oops, my brother died. I'll just find a baby somewhere. What are my investments worth? Eh, a little bit more. I put in 25, got 34. Let's invest 134000 into high-risk stock. And... Let's see if we can get that to be worth anything. Consumer, average shopper, Pfft, I don't think so. Infertility has not stopped me from having a baby in the past, no. Knowing real lives, anything could happen. Here's my finances. Man, get a load of that desktop. Get a load of that desktop. What? That sucker's huge. That balance is huge, Elvis. I made 71 grand. Or, uh, 40 grand, I'm sorry. Now it's worth 171 grand. My brother's wife gave birth to a new baby boy named Sefu. Just rub it in. Why don't you? I'm pregnant. No, I'm not. I am not pregnant. There's no way. How does this equate to this? Huh? Huh? Where did this baby come from? It says infertility. Uh, have it, I sure. I've got a new baby boy, which just came tumbling out one day. What is the longest name I can get? Mawulik Plimi. Hmm. Maybe I should get one that I can read a little bit more easily. Name him Coffee. That seems like a plan. My expenses are greater than my income. Alright, reduce spending, turn that back down to miserly, and now we're fine. Okonkwo. My son is dead. Oh. Okay? I guess I wasn't supposed to have a kid this whole time. 
Oh, just kidding. I guess I'll have another kid after my first kid died, but I'm still infertile. <laughs> my stuff is flushed down the toilet. Oh, that's awful. I have a new baby girl. How about... Jeez, um... Yeah, I like it. Oh, I died. Oops. That, that didn't work out too well. Um, I died from an infection, which is, I guess, what I'm writing in my journal. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Maybe, maybe next time this won't work, or this uh, won't go so badly. <laughs> yeah, killed me. Hang on. Can we get out of Africa? I have low birth weight caused by gonorrhea. I have swelling of the eye or eye membranes caused by gonorrhea. You have been cured of gonorrhea. Well, that was an eventful life. I didn't even do anything. So now I'm an Indian girl. Born in the village, or in a village in the state of Andhra Pradesh in India. Not far from Tenali. My parents have named me Durga. My surname is Parag. My mother Amina is 28, and my father Anandrishti is 33. And I've got a brother Prem who is one. Perfect. My mother's been cured of pelvic inflammatory disease. My mother is a job. My brother has the measles. You know, this is my life. It's just all about STIs. Yeah, my appearance is 70. Despite the fact I've got a low birth weight. How long does it get, or how long is it going to keep telling me I've got a low birth weight? Am I going to be 50 and it's still going to say, you have low birth weight, ha ha ha. A major flood has hit India, but not us. I'm too pretty to be flooded. What a beautiful baby, I'd like to think so. I'm even a happy baby. My father has a peptic ulcer. You know India's most popular sport is cricket. Now you do. I have a new baby sister named Jaya. And it used to tell me how many TVs and radios I have, but they got rid of that for whatever reason. I guess I'll never know. My brother Prem goes to school. I've got Gambria. Gambira. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not going to live to be 50. That's what you think. Another major flood hit India, but not us. Going to school. Earthquake hit India. Flood hit India. Whoa, man, Elvis look at that pickle. Hit India. Man, that thing is huge. Rock and roll has hit India. Yeah, let's just do all these. How far do I think I'm going to go? Hmm. I'm going to say... 78 years. And that's my bet. 78 years long. I've got whooping cough. 76. Another flood. 12, you think. India has three seasons. The cool, the hot, and the rainy. Thanks, Encarta World Factbook. Sister goes to school. Most village homes in India are made from mud and straw. The Bhagavad Gita is the most important sacred text of Hinduism. Sister goes to school. Hindus are Muslim. No, Indians are Hindu. Eh. With Muslims as the second largest group. You made the mistake of lying about the details of something, and now a friend is asking to know more. You can confess that you stretched the truth and lose a bit of credibility with your friend, or you could lie further to make your story consistent. Would you stretch the truth further? Chat says yes. Chat says yes a bunch. Well, guess I'm doing that. Your friend has bought your story. Well, that's because my friend does not have intelligence of 66. My mother's found a new job. Human right violations are fairly common in India. Oh. 
Also, so is rice and lentils. A rite of passage occurs to purify Hindu girls after their first menstruation. Man, all the things I'll never get to experience. Major flood hit India. Okay. Father's been cured of a peptic ulcer. Okay. Father's tetanus. Oh. That's no good. Get pregnant. I don't know. I want to find romance. How about you, Ashkak Rishi? You're a student. I'm a student. Let's get married. Right now. It's too early for that. Oh, what do you know? There we go. I'm engaged at the tender age of 13. My father's been cured of tetanus. Thanks to the power of love. You've come across a mess again, left by another unknown individual. It still disturbs you. You know, this whole mess situation. Do we clean it? No. Clean. Yes. Clean. No. Uh, whatever I hit enter on. I cleaned up someone else's mess. Oh. Hey, and now I'm married. His happiness is 23, mine is 80. His appearance is 32, mine is 70. In fact, I think I've got better stats than him in effectively everything. Why did I even marry you? I regret it. I don't like you. I want to find someone else. Gotta find a real man. Like you. Gautama Naga Nathan. Naganathan. Oh god. Happiness, 11. Athletic, 2. Strength, 6. Appearance, 13. Oh, I'm good, thanks. How about you, Kala Tagore? Intelligence, 85. Appearance, eh, 37. Well, you know, he's smart. He's artistic. He's musical. He doesn't like me. What does the mess do? Uh, it affects your conscience, conscience eh, meter down here. Goes up or down. How about you? Appearance, 59. Intelligence, 37. Eh. Chandra Lakande. Still doesn't like me, apparently. You? 40, 40, 50, 42. Harshal. Varadarjan. No one likes me. This is my life. You. Jainendra Chander. Intelligence, 72. Appearance, 66. Let's get married right now. Now you'll never get away from me. Brother's girlfriend finds a job. Now we're married. Do I want to move out? Yeah, might as well. Man, got a load of that desktop. Thanks, Elvis. Oh, baby, that thing is huge. Elvis is my best man. Okay. Uh, I gotta get a job, don't I? I can be a professional seamstress. Yeah. And I'm gonna work on fashion. What else is going on in my apartment? Nothing. It's 2.30. Not really a whole lot going on. My father has cataracts. Oh, my father has a job. Oh, brother goes to secondary school. Ananda Vis... Hang on. Ananda Verasami and my brother Prem have become engaged. And now they're married. And now he has a job. And now my brother's wife does not have depression, which apparently she did earlier. My husband has graduated from secondary school. That's right, I'm married. Forgot about that. Husband has a job. Indian people wear clothing. If you get born in the USA, not too much happens. Literally, not too much happens. Things don't really go quite as a wrong, or, uh, quite as wrong in the USA, as opposed to developing nations. Major earthquake hit India. I graduates. I graduate. I graduate. <laughs> Every single time I stream. I end up stumbling over all of my words way more than I do in real life when I'm not streaming. So I'm a nursing aide, he's a farm worker. 
making quite a bit of money. You think I need to go back to school, but I'm a nursing aide. That's okay. Oh, I can't go to college. Flunked my SAT. I'll just take it again. Again? No, hang on. I guess I can't go to college. I'm just not that smart. That's a shame. Have I ever been born a boy? Yes, I'm fairly sure that's how I came out. My father has arthritis, so... Oh. My sister's boyfriend has malaria. Indian villages are small. Some of your friends smoke cigarettes. Oh man, do we do it? I don't know. Some people find it relaxing and enjoyable. Well, in that case, might as well. Chat says no, pretty consistently. Not this time. All right. Optimus Prime Minister. It was your voice that made me not decide to smoke. You're spending very little. That's okay, because I'm going to invest it all in high-risk stock. 161,000 rupees. Okay. High-risk it is. Vocational school. Can I? Nope. I'm not accepted into anything. Keep forgetting to shade the bubbles in completely. Guys, please. Oh. Did you know life can be extremely difficult for India's poor and lower castes? You know a major flood has hit India. You know we were not affected. You know I'm pregnant. I didn't know that just sort of happen one day. Well, I guess we're having this kid. I've got a new baby boy. Amir. Hmm. Babu. Balik. Chandresh. Das. Dev. Dilipari. Ishan. Yeah, I'm 21. I've still got a low birth rate. Haven't been born again, you know. Kasi, Kiran, Kiran again. Mani, Mohan, Nirvan, Prabhat. Chat wants Babu. Alright, Babu it is. Why does my son have gonorrhea? Did I have gonorrhea? Hang on. But I don't have gonorrhea. Where did this even come from? Well, what can I tell you? My son is just like me. Major flood hit India, but not us. I'm pregnant again. Yeah, I thought I got cured of gonorrhea. Like my first day, having been born, they said. Hey, look at that caption over there. Look at that caption over there. Man, that thing is that huge. Thing is huge. So I could have sworn I don't have gonorrhea anymore. So many babies. I don't have anything else to do. Let's see. I really don't know what a good name on this list would be. 400 babies. I don't think I can have two Babus. Because Babu's a guy's name, apparently. They could be Devi. Gopa, Indira, Indu, Jaya, Kama, Kamra. I don't think Baju is a name. There's Baiju. Your uncle is named Babu. Oh, well, you've recreated your family in real lives, then, Hinkles. Kiri. Alright. Kiri. Oh, she's gonorrhea. But now she doesn't. How are my investments doing? 192,000, which I'm fairly sure is less than I put into it. Or more than I put into it. So let's take all of my money. All 287,767 rupees. Oops. That's the borrow button. And invest all of that. And then we'll be rich. 
Sister gets jobs, sister graduates, gets another job, my son has the measles, my daughter has whooping cough, my spending is creeping up. But at least I'm not pregnant today. All these kids need to start work at a young age. They all need to become real estate tycoons or just people in the banking industry just to invest all of their money in high-risk stock. Also, how do I have negative 13,000 rupees in cash? Where did my money go? I'm in debt somehow. Let's get out of this place. Let's emigrate out of India. Where do we go? Where do we go? What's a place? USA, Denmark, Japan, US, Cuba. Can I go to Cuba? No, I guess I can. Nah, I'll go to Cuba for now. I will have enough time to go to Canada later on. Havana. Alright. It's about as close to going to Cuba as you can actually go in real life. My father's been drafted into the military. Why did I bring him along? Why did I bring my dad? Sorry, Dad, I... I guess I threw all of you guys on a plane while you were sleeping, and now you're... Now you're a soldier. Oops. And there goes my brother. And my sister's boyfriend's been cured of tetanus just enough time to go into the military. Perfect. Sister's boyfriend goes to the military. Son is whooping cough. Husband gets a job. Husband goes to the military. I really fouled things up, didn't I? Look at this great monthly salary. I can be a safety inspector. 51 Cuba pesos per month. Why would you ever want to move to Cuba, then? You have a good deal of cash. Oh, yeah. You don't have enough. Yes, I do. 56, 1, 1. Hang on. That is exactly how much I have available, game. What are you telling me here? How about that? There we go. I have to keep one Cuba peso. If I run out of Cuba pesos, I guess I get deported. Also, I'm fairly sure they don't have the stock market in Cuba. My sister moves out. Sister gets a job. Daughter has the measles. Expenses are greater than my income. Alright, I'll just reduce the spending then. Uh, I guess I don't reduce the spending. Can I get a better job? No, I can't. Safety inspector is the creme de la creme. Huh. So in case you've ever wondered... Whoa, man, look at that pixel. Whoa, that sucker's huge. In addition to Cuba having giant pixels, not really a great place to live, I'm gonna say. Nothing goes to charity. You have the opportunity to avoid a substantial payment by making a white lie. Shading the truth in this way is common in these circumstances. Will you? Do I dare? Yes. Okay. You have saved yourself some money. You are pregnant. So the white lie made me pregnant, apparently. Don't lie, kids. Or you'll get pregnant. That's the moral of this game. I'm gonna have him. I'm gonna give him a traditional Indian name. Like... Esperanza. Who also has gonorrhea. Again. Oops. Yeah, my husband's in the military. Where did this baby come from? Apparently, yeah, one Cuban peso is one US dollar. Why am I spreading gonorrhea everywhere? Oops, just sort of happens, you know? Sister's boyfriend gets a job, sister marries someone, sister gives birth to a baby. My husband is out of the military, gets a job. 
My husband is a nursing aide. That's what I used to do. What does the Cuban military do other than sit around? That's a good question. How is my investment? I'll have to check. Well, my investment in fertility drugs is paying off in spades. A new baby girl, you can be... I don't... I don't know. Consuela, sure. Who's got gonorrhea. But now she doesn't. Everyone's got low birth weight in this family. Let's see... How are we doing on our investments? Hey, they're worth a little bit more than they were before. 4330. Into high risk stock. Okay. My sister's boyfriend gets a new job. Daughter goes to school. Expenses are greater than my income. Again. How am I an average shopper? What is there to buy in Cuba? Oh, geez. Um, I've got the best job available. I don't know what to do, then. Reduce spending. Cigars and cigar-making supplies. Hey, boss, can I get a raise? 1%. Oh, thanks. My daughter has the measles. My spending is creeping up. Can I get another raise? 1%. I'll take it. My sister has chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Expenses are still greater than my income. You know, I'm running out of things to cut back on. Wait, 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 wait. Hang on. Why am I making 55 when this safety inspector makes 63? Someone's cheating me out of money here. Here we go. Oh man, I'm gonna spend all my time in Cuba watching TV. One single channel. I could cut back on my high-risk investments, you're right. How are they doing? Oh, lost a whole bunch of money on them. Fantastic. Go to North Korea. I don't think I can. Can I go to college here? Nope. Bummer. Let's see. Residence. Emigrate. Korea. North Korea. Perfect. Okay. Off we go to Pyongyang. Which... I guess is a much better place to live. At least compared to Cuba. Think of all the great social services we have. All the TVs I own. All the great gray buildings I can live in. You do not have a job. Hey, look at that caption over there. I don't have a job. Man, that thing is huge. That salary is huge, Elvis. 4,950 Korean won. And I'm gonna watch TV the whole time. Daughter goes to school. Daughter has food poisoning. Spending's creeping up. Spending is $159.57. How am I a safety inspector and I make five grand? My husband's a subsistence farmer and he makes almost 16000 That's nothing. How am I making so little? I mean, I willingly came to North Korea. Surely somebody could throw me a bone. They don't value safety. I guess not. Hari, Giridhar, and my sister have married. My daughter has appendicitis. Consuela, you're running out of room for your disease. Stunting, goiter, appendicitis, and a low birth weight. Oh, you're right. He graduated, and I'm also working part-time. My daughter goes to school. Oh no, here it comes. You have the opportunity to make a huge profit at what is described as very... Oh, just take all the money. 
Why do I even try? Oh well. I have a good deal of cash. Well, not anymore. Kim would never lie. I guess not. Obviously, it was my mistake. Dear leader would not have done this to me. My brother Prem's wife, or yeah, Prem's wife Ananda, has given birth to Ai Suk. That's unfortunate. Your daughter Esperanza has come down with whipworm. Best Korea has liberated me from my filthy capitalist tainted money. Thanks, Korea. You did it. My mother has cataracts. My brother Prem's wife, Ananda, has given birth to okay, Jim. Sounds good to me. My sister died from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. My sister's husband has been hurt on an on-the-job accident. My sister has a new job. My daughter's boyfriend, Che Yu, that's where I went to college, has come down with roundworm. My daughter's been cured of whipworm. Nothing goes to charity. There is no charity in North Korea. It's pronounced Oak Jim. Oh. Oops. I'm not very worldly, I suppose. Oh, my daughter is roundworms again. My husband is hookworm. Everyone's got worms. God. My son Babu's girlfriend, okay, Rim, has graduated from secondary school. Okay. But she can't go to college. So she gets a job. Sounds good to me. <laughs> my conscience is one. Well, I'm living in North Korea, you know. It's hard to keep a clean conscience when you're threatening to flood America with a sea of fire, or whatever it was they were promising. Now my son went to secondary school. My daughter's boyfriend gets a job. Seems okay to me. Brother Prem's wife recovers from depression. Kim Soon Bok and my son Babu have become engaged. Now they're married. Now he moves out. Daughter graduates. Your daughter Kiri has asked for your permission to marry Park Chong Hoon. Do you approve? I guess. His health is 99. He's worth a lot of money. I'm going to say yes. Oh, let me call up their wedding. So much for that. God, Mom, you ruin everything! My husband has come down with food poisoning. That serves me right for cooking. How are my investments? Probably worth nothing. No, oh, that's not so bad. 893-634. Into high risk stock you go. I got one wand left. My mother has TB. Hey, man, check out that window. Check out that window. Man, that thing is huge. Hmm. Hyung Soon has been drafted into the military. I guess a huge amount of time. You have been robbed. Oh, no. Oh, no. 29,479 won. There's no crime in North Korea. It's a perfect society. A mother does not have cataracts, but now she has arthritis. Now my daughter's got hookworm again. My husband has schizophrenia. A neighbor of yours risks getting into trouble with the government unjustly. The consequences might include prison. You can help him at some risk of running afoul of the government yourself. Will you take that risk? Your risk of getting in trouble is about 1 in 10. Civil liberties are generally not available in North Korea. It has a rating of 7 on a scale of 1 to 7. I'm gonna do it. You have managed to help your neighbor avoid prison. Yeah. I did it. Thanks, Mr. Dink. Your brother Prem's wife, Ananda, has reduced vision due to cataracts again. Now my sister's got the measles, but gives birth to Seijin regardless. Daughter graduates, can't go to college, gets a job. Daughter Consuela's boyfriend, Se Hong, has malaria. And then he graduates. K 
can't go to college, gets a job, goes to the military, food shortage, not us, no money, there. My conscience is five. Time to emigrate to Canada. Yeah, I'm an illegal North Korean immigrant. I'm sure anyone will take me. 1.6 million won in high-risk stock. Putting all my money into Facebook and Bitcoins. It's gonna be great. My husband committed suicide. What, was my investment that bad? Well, so much for that. Um... Jeez. How much is it worth now? Did my investment crash and no one told me? No, it's still worth about the same. I am a terrible wife. Well, I'll find a North Korean man who loves me. Lee Jun Ho. You're unemployed. Pfft, yeah, I don't think so, pal. How about you? Suk Ok Kyon. Suk Ok Kyon. Suk Ok Ok. I've got no idea how to pronounce this. And while you do have a job, your appearance is 12. So I'm going to have to say no. In fact, let's get out of North Korea entirely. Take all my money. And... Where... Where do we bring it? Where do we bring it? And the great... Uh, gee. Saudi Arabia. Somalia. Nothing bad happens there, right? Canada. Zimbabwe. Poland. Eh, I guess I can go to Canada. Oh no! Canada, no! You're not gonna find me this time. Oh, damn it. Not gonna find me this time. Oops. I gotta sneak on the back of a bigger syrup truck, I think. There we go. Whew. Guys, it's cool, I'm a hockey player, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, Ottawa, why not? Sounds good to me. Now I'm gonna get married to Samuel Cooper, who doesn't have a job. Never mind. I'm gonna get married to... Nobody here has a job. Martin Butler. Donald Jordan. No one? Russell Jordan. Now I'm gonna marry your brother instead. Take that, Donald. That's what you get for being a deadbeat. My brother Prem's wife, Ananda, does not have cataracts. I need a job. Oh, yeah, you're right. Daughter Kiri's boyfriend has a job. Daughter's boyfriend is out of the military. Gets a job. Daughter graduates. Can't go to college. Daughter's boyfriend's Whoa, been man, cured of Elvis. Look at that pixel. Man, that thing is huge. Never really cured of Elvis. My boyfriend has been involved in a road traffic accident. And nothing goes to charity. And then Russell breaks up with me. And he takes over 200 grand with him. But hey, it's okay. I've got this guy who's worth $3,000. Like 1%. Oh, uh, night then, uh, Van Hillian. Thanks for watching. No. I don't like you. Let's get a job. I could be a safety inspector. I could be a customs official. I'm an illegal North Korean Cuban immigrant. How am I going to work in customs? You think nobody would just notice, like, hey, you know, there's something about Durga Chander. Maybe it's the poster of Kim Jong-il she's got in her cubicle, or the fact that she smokes Cuban cigars, but there's something not right about her. Do you want to marry Chun Kyung soon? Sure, I don't. Fine. There are subsistence farmers in Canada. Apparently so. Do I invest 69,700? I don't think it's ever, ever made money for me. Not once.
Maybe it'll work this time. Yeah, maybe. Oops. Who could have seen that coming? Canada. It's not the land of hopes and dreams. It's the land of infinite sadness. My father dies. My brother is an ulcer. My daughter moves out. My other daughter moves out. Someone marries my daughter. Do you want to marry Park Se Hong? Fine, yeah. Now they break up. Everything went wrong, all because I lost all that money on that deal. <laughs> my brother is an ulcer. Did I get married yet? Hugh Phillips. Yeah, sure. Oh, maybe not. Matthew Murray. You're a dude. Well, I accept. Yeah, it's been like a year. I feel like I know you well enough. Let's get engaged. Now our wedding and engagement's been called off. Well. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. But I like to end the relationship. Yeah, sure. Forget you, Matthew Murray. I still have my husband with me. Well, he's dead. Hey, come on down. I'll show you the house. Don't look in this closet. My dead husband's in there. But anyway, I've got a pool in the backyard. I've got a big screen TV. Maybe we can go to the beach. Brandon Young. How much do I have? Not enough. Wait, hang on. Oh, I do have a house. I'm a spendthrift. Not anymore. Let's see. Uh, I wanted to do something. Not that. Check my investments. 30,000 Canada dollars. Do, do, do. Into the stock market you go. Park Chong Hoon and my daughter Kiri have married. And my spending is creeping up. My boyfriend proposes marriage? Yeah, sure. Now we're engaged. Now we're married. Let's have babies. Oops, that's not the baby button. Try to have a child with the dead husband. I don't think that'd quite work. For a few reasons. Why does my husband not have a job? Can't be the only breadwinner here. It's gotta be a team. Come on, Brandon. Gotta get work. Brandon, my daughter gave birth to a baby who's got gonorrhea again. My daughter is breast cancer. I'm not investing 21,000 Canada dollars on this deal again. Also, Brandon, I'm afraid I just can't live with someone who isn't working, so... Can I have a child? Who am I having a child with? No one. I'm gonna find a real man. Not you. Not you, Nathan Powell. Richard Wilson. Does no one here work? Larry Daniels? No one? I still have low birth rate. I'm 53. I'm never going to get rid of that. Hey, man. Check out that window. Whoa, that sucker's huge. Michael Edwards. Will you marry me, Elvis? You've got a job. Ernest Jackson. Justin... S Do people just stop working in Canada at 50? Mark Grant? Henry Freeman? Nobody has a job. I can't support you, Ronald Wheeler. My happiness is zero. Nicholas Meyer? I, I can't... I, I can't be happy if I'm not married to someone who's working. John Lawson. Nobody? Anthony Cunningham? No? Philip Stewart? Kenneth Collins, you're a student. Maybe you'll get a job. You could. Let's get married. It's too early for that. Hey, man, you're 51. Let's do it. There we go. My daughter's recovered from depression. Nothing goes to charity. Major fire hit Canada. Now we're married. Please, Kenneth. Please get a job. You have to. You have to. You think the employment randomizer is bugged? My mom died. But I inherited 9,500 Canada dollars from my parents. 
My sister's husband does not have an ulcer. Daughter gave birth to Nicole. A traditional Indian name. How are my stocks? That's a good question. Sure, Martin Ellis, whatever. Have fun. I know, I know, gonorrhea. Everyone's got gonorrhea. And the stocks are worth 45 grand, which I think is more than I put in. So that's good. 88,000 into high risk. Okay. My sister's husband has been involved in a road traffic accident, but he's okay. Daughter gave birth to Justin. And Justin has gonorrhea and gonorrhea, but now he doesn't have gonorrhea. My husband died of stomach cancer? Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. He never even had a chance to get a job. Uh... Your health is four? I'll marry you. Adam Woods? No. Joe Morgan? Arthur Burton? Peter Austin. Gary Collins. Can I just start marrying people with no health and just have them all die the instant I marry them? I'm supporting a 31-year-old smoker. That's my daughter. Sean Stone. Raymond Ferguson. You're 70. Norman Allen. My happiness is zero. I can't even get out of bed to go and date. George King. Joshua Duncan, Randy Sanders, that rhymes, let's get married. My daughter died of breast cancer, oh no. Oh wait, I thought that was my daughter who was living in the house, never mind. Expenses are greater than my income, alright. Fix that. My brother died from a stroke. Just, just rub it in, that's fine, Just everyone dies. No, I was only laughing because I thought um, the person everyone wanted my house or wanted out of my house died immediately after we talked about it. But she's not dead. She's just fine. My sister's become addicted to illicit drugs. I've got a great family here. My spending is creeping up. What? What is this? Did you actually convert the game to Flash? Hang on. Oh god. Did you really? <laughs> Is this... <laughs> oh god. Oh god. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't even know that was possible. Oh jeez, that is amazing. Say, hey, boys, check out that icon. Man, that thing is huge. I can't believe it works. I can't believe this works in Flash. That's amazing. <laughs> now, now I can play it on Android. Wrong link. What did I link? post the wrong thing? Hang on. Nope, that's the right link. I can't believe... <laughs> I can't believe this is on Newgrounds. Does it... Does it work? Hang on. If you're just tuning in, you're gonna have absolutely no idea what this is. <laughs> it's, it's mostly there. <laughs> we be Oh god. It still goes. It still works. <laughs> I'm amazed it still even works. Nope, oh, now it restarts. It does run better in Flash. Now everyone can play it. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
<laughs> Thanks, Tale of Two Butts. I, I think I appreciate it. <laughs> oh dear. Check the reviews. Do I dare? B. I don't see any reviews. Maybe I need to be logged in. Yeah, I might need to. <laughs> Vertical flight shooter. Oh yeah, that's totally what it is. That's the creative process done live thanks to the power of the internet. <laughs> I'll check it out later. Let me try to finish our real life here. My sister Jaya's husband has developed arthritis. I should make games more often. My boyfriend proposed marriage. Let's get married. Love you, Randy Sanders. This is my career as a game developer. My husband died. How did my husband die? He was fine a minute ago. Well, so much for that. Oops. I broke my husband. I'll just load up on some tea. My husband didn't drink enough tea, that's why he died. I just kill everything I touch. You're next, Dennis Knight. He feels the same way. Dead is how he feels. Oh no, they've broken my house! They stole goods worth 22,540 Canada dollars from me. Oh no. Then everything catches fire, and now I can't be a safety inspector because I'm too old. I could be a salesperson. Door-to-door -door syrup salesman. How are my stocks? Hopefully okay. I guess that's about what I put in. I forgot. How many cups of tea do I drink a day on average? Uh, a pot. Whatever is in the coffee maker carafe. It says 10 cups, but I don't think it's really that much. It doesn't feel like that much tea. Back when uh, I had finals, I would fill that thing up four times, which was, you know, four or uh, anywhere from 40 to 50 cups of tea, judging by the little notches on that, so... Used to drink way more tea than I do now. My sister's husband died at age 65 from a fall? What did he fall off of? Okay. Yeah, if it's an 8 ounce cup, that's not that much. I fell off a high Canada. Whoa, man, look at that pixel. He fell off a train. Whoa, that sucker's huge. What kind of tea do I drink? Oolong, because before Hurricane Sandy hit last year, I bought six boxes of it to get free shipping on Amazon. Do I want to risk a thousand bucks? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. My son Babu died. No, Babu! My daughter Consuela gave birth to Crystal. Would I like to end my relationship? No! Dennis Knight! You broke up with me! I'm fine. Aaron Morris will never break up with me. Philip Schmidt will never break up with me. Fred Long? Yeah! We're doing this. We're doing this, Fred. Let's get married. Right now. Nope. Diary. Marriage. He thinks I'm crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm the only one who's not crazy. Now we're engaged. Brother's wife died. Boyfriend died. That's the third one. I'm running out of boyfriends. They're all dying. Why did I even show him that flashy Pokemon episode? My sister's husband died. My daughter's husband got into a car crash. Hugh Little. 
You little what? My son's wife recovered from depression. You little married me. Sister recovered from depression. Daughter's husband died. Daughter Kiri has arthritis. Can't give anything to charity. Oh, who needs it? Someone's killing my spouses. Would I like to retire? Yeah, why not? Congratulations, you've retired at 76. Good God. Why is my daughter still here? You've done nothing. You don't work. You just sit around and smoke all day. You and your goiter. In fact, your goiter smokes too. You think I can afford that habit? No, I can't. Let's have a child. Oh, I can't, because I'm 77. Wait, I thought it said I could retire. Hang on. Of course my expenses are greater than my income. I have no income. Oh, I have to cash in all my stuff. There we go. Yeah, I'm still dating at 76. My daughter's husband found the job. I think my husband's gonna outlive me. Oh, finally! Consuela moves out. Floating point division by zero. Uh-oh. Consuela, come back! <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> oh, God. The house was never the same without Consuela. Should not have divided by zero. She planted a bomb when she left. You played my game. Did you like it? Oh, there. We're good. Just don't divide by zero. Consuela is supposed to move out. My husband's diabetic. My sister's diabetic. My husband had a heart attack. External exception C0053 AA0. Oh. Is that fatal? I guess so. <sighs> Just turn back the clock. <laughs> the game never expected anyone to be this old. I'm not supposed to live so long. Consuela's dragging the house down, man. <laughs> Consuela's never leaving. Come on. My health is two. My resistance is one. Maybe if the game crashes, I just never die. My sister's got diabetes. My husband has a heart attack. External exception C one four nine two one C zero. Oh. Man, get a load of that desktop. Get a load of that desktop. Whoa, that sucker's huge. That error is huge. God, this sucks. How's my low birth weight still a problem? You know, everyone wants to define themselves by something. And this is how I define myself. I've got low birth weight. That's me. I don't care if I'm 82 years old, I still at, or, um, have low birth weight. It's me. It's part of my identity. Just try to age a year. Oh, I'll try that next time then. Sounds like a bad commercial. I have low birth weight. I have low birth weight. I have low birth weight. We have low birth weight. And we're here to tell you, low birth weight is a curable problem. Please come to Real Lives 2007 and discuss low birth weight with your doctor. Low birth weight is not a death sentence. Low birth weight causes your sister Jaya to become diabetic. Again. Hmm. How's it still going? There. <laughs> External exception zero. <laughs> Just... It ran out of external exceptions. Oh well. Oh, my husband died. 
That's the fourth one. And now I'm dead. <laughs> I'll take my husband with me. You are not taking it out alive. Or making it out alive, I'm sorry. Is there a Real Lives 2013? I don't think so. My daughter outlived me. Well, she's 56. I mean, I'd expect her to. 83. That's past their expectations. It is. Well, anyway. It's 3.30 in the morning. And I think I'm going to head off and go to bed. So... Thank you guys for watching. Probably stream sometime tomorrow. Not exactly sure what. But uh, I've got lab work I have to do tomorrow, so I can't be up super late. So thanks for watching. Uh, consider following the stream if you want, or following my dumb Twitter account if you want, which is there. What happened to Peebles? Well, I'm going to run a quick series of adverts uh, now that the stream's effectively over. So if you want to hang out in the chat, you can watch some of those. Help me pay for the $75 parking ticket, which I somehow incurred on Monday. Officer Peebles hit me with a $75 fine because I parked in the wrong lot. For the worst reason imaginable, I went to Silver Spring, Maryland with a friend and hit up CD Game Exchange, brought a, or bought a bunch of 10-cent cassette tapes to play, we picked the worst ones imaginable. We picked a, a album called We're Just Fighting, which was by the artist Society for a Better Society, which I guarantee you, if you Google, you will find nothing about the band, which might even not be a band, might just be a dude, called Society for a Better Society. And we bought that tape for 10 cents, went down to the campus radio station to make a recording of it, Came back, $75 parking ticket, over a 10 cent cassette. <laughs> so, not only did the tape warp and it doesn't even play anymore, but now I've got this massive parking fine as well. So, anyway, it's enough rambling about that. Uh, consider following the stream, consider hanging out in the chat for a moment or two as I run a quick ad, and I will stream some other time. What is Otaku Mascot? It is a thing that I downloaded on GeoCities that sits on top of your window. It's a window sitter. If it ever loads. Like that. See? Now I can have anime things sitting on my windows. Isn't that handy? It's really not. So anyway. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna go turn the feed off, I guess. Hang out in the chat for a quick advertisement or two, and I'll see you guys next time, which will probably be either tomorrow or Saturday. So thanks again for watching, and I'm off. Hey man, check out that cursor. Oh baby, that thing is huge.
Never moved forward by clinging to the past. That's why Del.
Beep, beep, beep.